Pokemon Card Livestream. It's your host, me, TCC, and tonight we have this beautiful pack of evolutions. This is the same pack uh, that Miss Quip posed with her feet last time. So last time we did the uh, feet uh, thumbnail, Mr. Nogala popped in, and because Mr. Nogala popped in, we ended up changing that thumbnail over to a Nogala thumbnail. So I wanted to make sure we did another feet thumbnail somewhere down the road, and today was the day. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Mistress Toes, not Wifey. No, that's Wifey's toes. You guys don't want to see my toes. Pucky Nurse says, spank me. Uh-uh, no, no, no. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? So it's another night. Nothing unusual going on. We've got the Ancient Origins box break still started up. Uh, the gym, gym Challenge box is for sale as well. We're going to be selling those packs off however long it takes. Uh, today, I am saving up money to buy myself a new chair. All right? Because this chair is so bad now. I don't know what happened to it. I think it got worse over time. I'm like falling out of the chair. Like... It leans so hard to the left, it's like a 30 degree angle to the left. When does PSA open again? In a year, mister. So it's time for a new chair and uh, I badly need it. Justin says, that chair's done. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, why'd my music stop? Uh oh, <laughs> my laptop's pretty bad too, but we got a new laptop on the way. Those feet gonna attract Nogla again, that's right. We're, we're, we're doing a shout out to Nogla. Nogla, where are you at? 24,000 gold chair. Nah, that won't happen, but yeah, this chair is super bad. Maybe we'll have a short stream tonight because of it, I don't even know, but it's, it's like, I think it got worse in yesterday's live stream. It leans really bad to the left. And by that, what I mean is the actual seat is like falling over and it doesn't feel right to sit in it and it, it hurts my back to sit in it, it's so bad. Oh, my computer's skipping. You know, I wonder if my computer's going to freeze up tonight. Guess we'll find out. That new laptop you're getting looks nice, says Jack Gray. Oh, thanks, Jack. Well, I got to have a decent laptop because it has to be able to uh, run... Uh, what am I trying to say? Not Photoshop, the other one. Um, shoot, what's the name of it? Premiere. It's got to be able to run Premiere. And that's an Adobe product that uses a lot of... The music's skipping. Now, give me a second, guys. No, I don't like that. Why is the music skipping? Let's try closing closing up some things real fast. I'll close Discord. That might help. All right, let's hit the play button now. Hopefully that helps. I don't, I don't like that at all. The music's skipping. I think my laptop's having trouble. Here, let's try closing this. Let's try closing. I'm going to close stamps. Woo, man. It's just skipping no matter what. Hmm. Maybe I'll try refreshing the page real fast. It's not my internet, right? We have a nice clear live stream, right, everyone? Let me know if the live stream's nice and clear. Is it working well now? Yeah, so it's not the internet. It's got to be the laptop then. Man, this laptop's so bad. Ooh. All right. How are you allowed to have that thumbnail with feet in it, says Simon. What are you talking about? Of course I'm allowed to have a thumbnail with feet in it. They're just feet. G Giggling Gengar says, I'll go to my end. I don't see feet. Must be internet. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of making a TikTok of myself opening a pack of cards with my feet. I don't know how difficult that would be to do, but uh, I'm willing to try. What's up, Brad's man? Alex says, I received my cards today. Thank you for everything. No problem, Mr. Alexio. Sharksman says, can you say hi to me, please? How's it going, AC Marshall? And uh, now I believe this should, should be reading 66. We're waiting for some stickers to arrive in the mail. And when the stickers arrive, it'll be very easy to price these slabs up and it'll look much more professional. It's morning in the UK, man. It's really early morning in the UK. You're up at like 6 a.m. What's up, man? What happened to the price gun? Uh, you know, the price gun ran out of labels, and I don't know where more labels are. So I gave up on the price gun. I don't know if I like the price gun anyways, because 
while it was fun to use, the actual little number number on it was really hard to read, is what I noticed. People would ask, like, oh, what's the price on that? And they couldn't actually read the price because it was too far away. Emily says, how was your day, mister? It was pretty good. How was your day, Emily? We got Cubone, Magneton. Who's this guy? Deoxys, Blaine's Charizard, Dark Raichu, and Dark Primeape. Ooh, so nice. How about over here? We've got Dark Dragonite, Charizard VMAX, Giratina, Umbreon, Pseudo Wudo. Box Breaks Updates. You want some updates? Let's get you an update, man. Love the thumbnail. You up? So here's the Ancient Origins Box Break. Uh, and we have sold a few of the early packs, but we still got a long way to go on Ancient Origins. And then nobody has purchased a Gym Challenge spot yet. And I tell you what, I'll be the first one to do it. Uh, maybe I'll snap. Maybe I'll nab those first two uh, packs off the top, the ones that uh, are a little cleaner. Maybe that should be my right to do that as the box breaker. <laughs> All right, TCC. Do you have Legendary Collection Reverse Hollow Collection? Uh, no, but I wish I did. But it would be very expensive. Mister Raff says, "How do you buy packs? What's going on, Raff?" So it's real simple. You'll want to check the description and you'll notice there's a PayPal link. And what you'll do is you'll you'll check the menu in the description for what you want to order, add it up, and then you'll make a purchase on PayPal. On PayPal, you need to leave me a little message explaining what it is you bought. And uh, that's the whole thing. Now for shipping, you could order live shipping and I'll ship you out in a day. Or you can go to our Discord server and uh, make a shipping request. And that's free shipping if you do that, okay? Ricardo Marquez says, I think I'm up, but I'm not really sure. What's up, Ricardo Marquez? Okar says, hey, mister, what's up, Okar? What does the price on the Yanma say? Yeah, see, so this is the problem with that marker. That says 149 but you can see it's all messed up. It's a, it's a temporary marker, and it, it gets, uh, you can see it gets all messed up. So, yeah, that's 149 That's the cheapest buy now price. Mr. Are you going to do a gym custom to fill out the box? Uh, you know, I have a lot of people who keep asking me that, and uh, I certainly will be doing that. Um, we're not going to operate anything like that until the large is done, though, okay? And the large is moving along. Those numbers are prices. That's right. 149, 83, 66, 160. How much for a PSA 10? What well, depends on what PSA 10 you're talking about. So how are all of you guys? What's going on in your lives? Ricardo says, wait, what's in the large? I forgot. Uh, oh, okay. It's the Lugia. Lugia's still here. PSA 10 Lugia and PSA 9 Shining Lugia. This one valued at about 700 and this one valued at about 250. West Onini says, tired. Man, there must be a lot of tired people. It's a late night stream after all. Dude, this chair's terrible. Oh man, the chair's so bad now, guys. How much for that PSA 10 feet pick? What's up with the thumbnail? It's uh it's a picture of an evolutions pack. It's a really nice thumbnail. So man, I gotta say, it is definitely time to get a new chair. I made a I made a uh, channel in the Discord where you can recommend what you think the best chair is. I'm definitely buying a chair because this is terrible. I feel like I'm falling over. TCC, the lake will be jamming on the 4th. Oh, yeah. What time is it, by the way? Oh, it's July 1st already. Wow. So we're getting very close to July 4th. And, uh, of course, we expect it to be pretty crazy. That thumbnail made me muck. Why not just buy a chair, says Jack. Well, I am going to buy a chair. It's extremely bad. The other thing that, you know, my wife and I have been talking about doing this, but we haven't done it yet. Uh, we might be moving my whole setup to the basement because, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble finding time to spend time around my wife and get my work at the uh, done at the same time. So in the past, we did it all from the same, like, family room back when we lived at the condo. And so I could work and she could hang out. She'd be on the couch watching TV and I'd be working. And we're just not able to do that anymore. If I come in here and start working, I'm all by myself. Uh, and that's just not a very good setup anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. We, we haven't figured it out yet. I should probably do something like that. Missouri is the number one importer of fireworks in the United States. Is that a fact? Wow. Buy a Recaro chair. You know, maybe I could... I don't know. 
I was gonna say, maybe I could buy a couch for this room and put a TV in this room, but... Snorlax says, I'm coming over for the boat, babes. Oh wait, I can't. <laughs> if the Charizard CGC is 66, I just bought it. I believe it is, yes it is. And you just bought it, Mr. Alex, sweet. Can you buy waterproof fireworks? There might be waterproof fireworks, sure. PSA graded my Zerids as 10s. Mister, has PSA opened back up? Uh, I don't think they, well, I don't know. Let me go to their website. It is July 1st. Well, you know, it's July 1st at 12 a.m. Give it a little more time, guys. Give it a little more time. I'll check tomorrow, okay? Well, no, we'll check right now. Let's see. Let's choose submit. Nope, it's all still shut down. We'll be introducing these service levels beginning on July 1st. <laughs> yeah, so it, they're still closed. I bought a love seat for my office so my wife could hang out with me too, says Nate. Yeah, for sure. The problem is, with this room being the size that it is, I don't really think it's large enough to uh, put a couch and a TV, you know, like a lounge in here. It's just too small. It's actually quite a small room, and it's so full of Pokemon cards already. Where would I, I don't know where I'd put a couch. Maybe inside the closet? You might be able to fit some kind of couch in the closet. If I if I took the doors off the closet and then I removed all the product, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're 11 minutes in. How's it going, everyone? PSA is going to get swamped. Might as well still be closed. That's why I think... Mommy's not checking. <laughs> the music tonight, by the way, is called Cave Dungeon. This is a another Mario 64 song. Time for TCC Grading Company. That's right. Don't put your wife in the closet. She's already come out of the closet. I'm a swap it. I'm tired, TCC. Can we get Star Wars tops? You can get signed cards, says Jack. Uh, it's funny you said that, Jack. We do have Star Wars cards on the way. 20, uh, 2015 Star Wars tops cards. A box is on the way. Just one box. And we're going to have a little Star Wars box break. And, uh, you know, we'll see what it's like. We'll see if there's any interest in it. There, I, I picked that uh, a set in particular. I picked it because it had the uh, bikini uh, Leia card in it. And that was exactly why I chose it. It was because it had that card. TCC, I was on Twitch with Mike's side. Sweet. I want all of them already, says Mac Ricardo. You want Boba Fett. How much for the Lion King? Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about these guys. So this is Upper Deck Lion King. And I don't know, maybe like $4 a pack. That's why I sell the Japanese uh, Pokemons for. These are all I have. I don't have very many. Sneep. I want to open 10. Can I make the order for those? I suppose you could, Ricardo, yeah. If you want to put in an order for 10. Open one, mister, so we can get a taste. Well, I actually did that last time. I opened a pack last time, I believe, didn't I? Pretty sure. So, uh, there's very few of these guys. I really don't have a lot. All right, there we go. Bricks of Lion King cards. Can you feel the toes tonight? Let's see what you people are ordering. I'm going to jump over to PayPal now. Disney's changing the name of Boba Fett's Slave One Ship because you're no slave. Oh, that's sad. I thought that was a cool name. It was like Slave One was like, it sounded like an evil ship. You know what I mean? It sounded like a bounty hunter ship. Slave One. They're going to they're gonna change the name. Are you sure? Oh, dude, my back is hurting already from sitting in this chair. This chair is fully broken. It is so broken, guys. I might as well just go get a kitchen chair at this point. Yeah, this chair's a joke. So, let's see where we're at. I think we have an order tonight from Donovan Peacock. Mr. Donovan! Donovan Peacock at 2 p.m. He orders four spots in the Ancient Origins. All right. How's it going, Donovan? 
One, two, three, four. Boop. Just like that, huh? After that, we have an order from Justin Horta, who wants two hidden fates. Oh, Justin. We're gonna have to get some more hidden fates. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh no, this chair is really bad. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh man. I might have to cancel a stream tomorrow night or something. This is really bad. I feel like I'm falling out of the chair. I can't miss a stream. We'll just stream standing. Pull out the duct tape. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll flip the chair upside down and try to fix it. I guess if I if I actually fixed it, I wouldn't need a new chair, right? All right. No, this chair's broken. It leans to the left so bad, it's like it's tipped over. This is very bad. I don't feel right sitting in it right now. Uh, you know what? I tell you what. Let me do it right now, in fact. Give me a second, guys. This is so bad. So let me just try to figure out what's causing it, and then I'll get back to the stream, because this is so bad. I don't know if I can stream like this. I have no clue. Hmm. Get back up there. Try and mess with it. No, it's broken, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The chairs like leaned over, and I, I guess we'll just keep going. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> the squeaking never bothered me, but this is no good. Show the chair. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Justin, we've got... Oh, oh... Shiny Inke, whoa! Inke's pretty good. I like Inke. Falls over midstream. I don't think I'll fall over, but this feels like it will definitely damage my bag. This feels terrible. All right, give me a minute. Boop. There we go. And one Arbok, sweet. Logan Paul stepdad still at it. Sir, we want to see the chair. Uh, I'll, here, I'll show you real fast. So. I feel like you need to be able to see it like I see it. Nah, you can't see it. So the chair's falling over this way. Let me, let me try and... Uh, yeah, you can't see it because, well, you can kind of see it, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's not easy to see unless you're like, you got to zoom out. How much for the chair? I'm not going to ship the chair. It's going to go in the dumpster. No, it's no good. All right, Mr. Justin Huerta. Yeah, the squeaking never bothered me. Justin, you're over here. But this is, this is really bad. Here we are. <laughs> Quip sabotaged the chair. <laughs> what dumpster? Boop. All right. Next up, we got Caesar Soto. He wants five matchless and one live booster. Mr. Caesar, we're picking up exactly where we left off last night. Joop, 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 joop. Oh, Volcanion Hollow. How nice. He looks kind of cool. He also wants five matchless. All right, here's, here's the matchless. Fourth time here. Damn. Two, three, four, five. 
Another night, another live stream, everyone. Sneep. 887th time here. <laughs> Mike Side says he's going on vacation. You can't go on vacation. What do you think you get vacations? <laughs> Here's B Drill. And a cold one. And a hot one. Here's uh, Arctivish. It's Arctivish. I don't know. Arctivish versus Kabutops. I think Kabutops was cooler. So that's for Caesar Soto. Mr. Caesar, let's find your bag. Mr. You have nice toes. Those aren't my toes. Those are my wife's toes. That's my wife holding a booster pack with her toes. Let's see what we got. Brian, Brian. That's why the toes are so nice. I don't got nice toes. I got man toes. Cody Rogers. Mr. Does moderator get health insurance? Yeah, they get, uh, it's 60000 a year uh, with full health insurance and uh, 401k matching. <laughs> Mr. Caesar? He doesn't say if he's got a bag. You got a bag, Mr. Caesar Soto? Carlos? Alex? Alex? Hmm. Oh, man, my back's already hurting. My back is hurting right now, like 20 minutes into the live stream because the chair is so crooked. I saw a cringe thumbnail and I'm here. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Wes Donini. Wes says, coming in for the... You know what I could do? Maybe I could, like, cushion half of the seat. Alex says, add another pillow. Oh my gosh, we had the same idea, Alex. I could cushion half the chair. All right, I'll be right back. I'm, I'm grabbing a cushion. I'm grabbing a cushion, everyone. I'll be right back. a cushion, but this blanket might work. Now, one of my cheeks has to sit on the blanket, and the other cheek sits on the other half of the chair. It's, it's cheekception. Let's try this. <laughs> this uh, kind of works. Yeah, it kind of works. Uh, okay, feels a bit normal now. I got to adjust to it. It, feel, it does feel strange. Mister, are those your toes? Those are my wife's toes. Even better. So Wes Donini says he wants a spot in the ancient origin. Mr. Wes. Ha ha. All right. And we have... Alex PSX, who says five live custom boosters. Really, Alex? So we've got Shining Legends. That's pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number three. Pack number four. Uh-oh. And pack number five. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Ah. I'm so sorry, Alex. Well, before we feel bad, let's check this pack. Who knows, Alex? Maybe you get lucky. <laughs> it's not even a good pack, Alex. Alex! Alex, you know how tricky the live customs are. Why would you do that? Oh, Alex. Let me put this in your bag to get us started. <laughs> Alex! Where's Alex's bag? Oh, here we are. Alex, PSX. Mr. Alex. So you got a lot of hollows. And I'm supposed to have like bonus packs for you. Let me see what I got. I'm like out, dude. I've got this Natu. You want a Natu? Here's a nice looking little Natu. I'm so sorry, Alex. 
we don't really have a pity box. We used we normally we have like a pity pulls box, but it's like it's almost empty, and I'm like the only one who donates to it. Woo! Next up, we got Jeremy Tierney. He says, 10 packs of EV heroes. Please, and don't forget my bag is in the G-Box. I saw it there just the other day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I said, don't forget, Jeremy Tierney's bag is in the G-Box. Mr. Jeremy. What happened to Nogala's pity pulls? Well, we went through them all. And then Mr. James O'Brien, he donated $500. And we went through all of those. Sneep. And sneep. All right, there we are. What do we got? We've got Raichu. Oh, that's right. Keith Craver donated. The thing is, you can go through a pity pile very fast because lots of people have cold rounds. Here's Grimmel Snarl. It's more common to have a cold round than it is to have a hot one. Cold. Cold. Come on, hot ones. Here we go. Nope, that's Entei Hollow. Cold. And this will be the hot one. You ready? Can we have Digimon for the pity pile? Ooh, Glaceon. Woohoo! I don't know, man. That was also pretty cold. So we're starting out the live stream pretty cold tonight. I'm sorry, Mr. Jeremy Tierney. Mr. Jeremy, that was not the hot round. Gene, Jeremy Tierney. How's it going, Elon Muck? I can't decide who did. I think that you had a better time than uh, Alex still, though, because you got the Glaceon here. Anything crazy from Evo? Ah, oh, that's right. All the best pulls are already pulled. Don't open any. We've got a bazillion XY Evolutions. Have at them, guys. We've got one very special pack. This is the Feet Pack. Pity Ramen. <laughs> Maybe we'll do Pity Ramen. Do you guys want me to sell some ramen noodles to you? I'll sell you some imported ramen noodles from Japan. I could get you some imported ramen noodles for seven bucks. Okay, Ricardo Marquez, he says two spots in the large. You got it, Mr. Marquez. He's not scared. Shining Legends break afterwards? Uh, maybe. R. Marquez. Boop. What flavors you got? Just one, and I don't know what it. I don't know what it uh, says in Japanese, but I've only got three packs left because I've been eating them all. Uh, I've got I've got a bunch of other ramens I was experimenting with. They're just not as good, so I don't even want those as much anymore. But I, I wouldn't want to sell them to you because I I want you know, if I wouldn't want them, why would I sell them to you? I I'd only want to sell sell you the ones that I like. Next up, we got Alex PSX who says CGC Reshazard. You got it, Mister Alex. Mr. Alex. All right. Mr. The mods are still getting Robin. Important question. Huh, this slab is, uh, it's kind of a warped slab. I just noticed it. Hmm. Guess it's not a big deal. That's right. All the mods are getting Robin. <laughs> Here we are. Ooh. And now we have AC Marshall. What's up, AC Marshall? Welcome back. He says, I love you, Mr. Can I get one Ancient Origins packs? You sure can. AC Marshalls, do you have a bag? AC Marshalls. There we go. Wait, do we get our Marshalls? Oh, he, he went into the large. Confused there. All right. My toes smell like toe jams. Mmm. Yummy. So next up, we got Ricardo Marquez, who says 10 Lion Kings. You got it. Is that 15 for the Scyther? No, it's probably like 150. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. I have no clue what these are like. I hope they're worth it. 
you should have bought one of them. You went, you went 10 deep, dude. You're like, yeah, I'm sure I want these. <laughs> let's see what they are. Okay, let's just snip them up. I didn't know they existed until right now. Yeah, I just have a few of them. I didn't like, I didn't like stock them, you know what I mean? So I just have a few of these. Sneep. And sneep. All right. He says, please wait. All right, what are we waiting for, Ricardo? Ricardo, I only just got your message. I, I'm not trying to, like, ignore you. He said, please wait. Wait. What are you needing, mister? I wanted one sealed. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay. So here you go. Give me a minute. So this one will stay on the table, and this one will stay sealed. Uh, by the way, where's your bag? Is your bag over here? That's Christopher. Uh, this is somebody... Mike Hoover, like the Hoover vacuum cleaners. Sven, Raphael, Bradley, Joseph, Mr. Marquez, you had a bag, right? Or do you need a new one? You need a new bag, Mr. Marquez? He says, don't remember where it is. I have one. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's keep looking. Might be a small bag somewhere. Jeremy Homestatter. Uh, well, there is the R box. Let's check the R box real fast. Ryan Hutch, Ryan something, Ricardo, Ricardo, Ralph, Russ, Randall, Raul, Ryan, Rob. All right, there's nothing after that. You get these old names of people who are like never requested shipping at some point. You need the secret art, Elsa? <laughs> Rete, Raul. Yeah, you're not in these two boxes. So I'm gonna check these overflows one more time in the off case, off chance that I missed you. Yeah, that's Christopher Martinez. Who is this? Cody Rogers. Right, okay. Cody Rogers, and that's Mike Hoover. So you're just not over here. Uh, I'm gonna start you a new bag. You're getting a brand new bag. Woohoo! Have you had like a sport bag? You think that's the case? Oh, I bet you have a sport bag. That's what's going on. You have a sport bag. I'm sure of it. Kelby, Nick Wieg, Sherzad. Well, I don't even see a sport bag for you in the UFC break. Were you in the UFC break? No, you were in the NFL break. That's what was going on. Michael Manuen, Jonathan Morris, James Gower, Ricardo Lopez, Jeremy Helmstatter. He needs to be shipped out. Kelby DeLoon. Oh, man, there's too many bags. There's too many. There's officially too many bags. I'm calling it. This must be you, right? Aha. R. Marquez, you got a fat sport bag. Let's put these in with the sport cards because I think these are going to be square cut. Okay, so we're going to combine these. There we go. There's your sealed pack. Now we're ready to go. Took a little while. You ready, Mr. Marquez? So these are square cut, and I've never opened these before. Do they have like a hollow? Simba, Mufasa, and Scar, Simba, and Nala, Hakuna Matata, Timon. Okay. Pack number two. Look for Majestic Motion lent Lenticular cards. Majestic Motion, huh? So there are some sort of hollow cards in here. That had no hollow cards. Scar and Simba. Simba. <laughs> okay, those are all normal. I think we're looking for a holographic card. Simba and Friends. Rafiki. Lion's Pride. I suppose you could grade any of these. I don't know if there's a big market collecting them. Simba and Rafiki. But maybe if we can find one of these, what do they call it? Lenticular cards. Super chat from Alex. I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me a second. Alex says, oh, keep one pack sealed for me also. All right. Sounds good. Here we go. Mufasa, Rafiki, Simba, <laughs> long live the king. Ah! All right. You got a few packs left. Simba and Nala. Oh, that's rated R. Scroll through these. You got Scar. What a great TV show, or movie this was. TV show. 
Simba and Friends, Scar, Scar, Mufasa. Mmm, one last pack. Are you ready? Maybe the pack you have sealed has the hollow in it. So here's Mufasa and Scar again. Simba, Simba, Mufasa family, and Hakuna Matata, Simba, Pumba, Timon. Okay, so there were no hollows in there. Uh, but it says, look for a Majestic Motion Lenticular card. That, to me, sounds like a holographic card where, as you tilt it, it moves. We were talking about cards like that just yesterday. Uh, and I don't think you pulled any of those. You pulled all of these. I don't know if any of these are gradable. Let's, does it have, like, a rarity on the back? Does it talk about rarity? Yeah, it does. Uh, okay, so it talks about rarity on the back. Let me get a sealed pack out, and we'll go over what the rarity is based off of. So they do have rare ones. I just don't think you happen to pull any in this case. Place those in there. So this is ready to ship out, Mr. R. Marquez. That probably needs to ship priority. It's so heavy. I'll move this back over here. Let me go ahead and get this music running again. We'll just turn on some Minecraft for now, okay? Generation packs are usually 50 to 60 bucks each. Can you get them for 20? What do you think? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do that. <laughs> I wish I could. If I could, I'd open them all myself. We have an order for Mr. Arturo Perez. He says one Lion King pack. So this is for Mr. Arturo. We got Simba, Scar and Simba, Scar, Simba, Puma, Timon, and Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. I didn't know that's what their names were. Where can I see the price list? How's it going, Lee? It's in the description. So, Mr. Arturo, let's find your bag. Arturo Perez. Where am I going to find Arturo? Oh, I see you. Mr. Arturo. I know you better than that. Ed was my favorite hyena. Hi, Mr. Slab Shuffle tonight? Yeah, we need to do a slab shuffle for sure. Ed was the homie. Yeah, Ed, Ed was the, the only nice one. He was too simple. Whew. Musical slabs, that's right. All right, we're logging back in. We got to get a refresh going so we can see what other cards people want to open. I was busy searching the hub when I got bored and came across this thumbnail. That'll do. Oh, my God. The hub? You're talking about the Pokey Hub? I think he's talking about the Pokey Hub, everyone. When will they make Halo 3 cards? Ooh, good question. Good question. So, where were we? Here we are. Alex PSX says 10 Lion King cards. Okay, Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex says he will also like to keep one sealed. The Pokey Hub. So, this is the sealed one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Oops, 910. Wouldn't it be sad if the sealed pack in Mr. Ricardo's bag was a hollow? Okay, let's get that lenticular card. Now, and actually, let's take a look at the rarity. How does this work? This pack contains an assortment of Disney cards, randomly inserted. Okay, there's base set cards, Hakuna Matata, Lion's Pride, Film Cell, Circle of Life. Okay, here we are. So there's... Lenticular cards, tier 1, there are 1 in 50. Tier 2, there's 1 in 500. And tier 3, there's 1 in 1,000. Wow. Crazy. Okay, so there are some rare cards in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, oh, but one of them needs to stay sealed for you, right? So, so wait a second. So this is, this is your sealed pack. The other 9 get opened. Good luck, Mr. Alex. Sneep. Get some sneeps going. Sneep. Get a few more sneeps going. Sneep. Oh, man, I got back pain. I got back pain because this chair is so screwed up, guys. We're trying to even out the seat by having a blanket here, and it's it's really bad. All right, we got scarred. And that's because the whole chair is leaning over. That doesn't have a hollow. Mind if I go a little fast on these? Let's see if we can go fast. Nope. Nope. How rare are these? Nope. Nope. 
Nope. They must be pretty rare. Maybe they're like the equivalent of a hyper rare in a box of these. And nope. Mr. Alex, we didn't find any of them. Oh, Mr. Alex. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you got a lot of cards, though. I don't know how valuable the rest of these are. They're pretty cute. Alex says it's in the sealed pack. You know, it's definitely possible. That's the thing. So, Alex, we're having a, we're having a problem. You got too much stuff. Alex, I might ship your stuff out against your will uh, because we can't have this much stuff over here. Or that or I got to get like a spot on the shelf behind me, something. So, Alex PSX. Woo! Oh, man. Now we're going to get the pansexual polyamorous vegan card. Polyamorous? What is he talking about? So we're going to toss this over here. Putting you in the regular overflow on the right. Now we have Ricardo for Ancient Origins. Oh, Mr. Ricardo, you're having a busy night tonight, huh? There we go. Marquez. One, two, three. He's at four, right? And four. There we go. Woohoo! Wow, we're quite far along. I'm gonna turn this music up a bit. Now we have Donovan Peacock, who says five live custom boosters. Oh my God. You seeing this, Alex? Here goes, Mr. Donovan. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mr. Donovan, all you needed was one pack. You get seven champions path. Let's see what else you pulled. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, man, are you going to do exactly what Alex did? And whoop, five. You did exactly what Alex did. You totally overshot. <laughs> you only needed one more pack. You didn't need to go that deep. All right, well, before I feel bad for you, let's see what we pull out of here. If you pull Charizard, I'm not going to feel bad at all. You did exactly what Alex did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll put this back over here. My champion's path. Pulling a cake. That's right. You might pull the Al Creamy. Sleep. Man, nothing beats Minecraft music. I've heard it so many times and it's still so good sounding. Where are the feet? <laughs> Cold pack number three. You got two hollows. Pack number four. You got Dreadnought V. Oh, mister. Have I ever been to Disneyland? I've not. I've never been to Disneyland. I went to Six Flags. Here's Senny Scorch. Oh, okay. You got Gardevoir V. That's not too bad at all, actually. Lovely Gardevoir V. You know, if you were just opening seven packs of Champion's Path, that wouldn't be too bad. And Zygarde. So, mister. Man, the, the thing is, you did the same mistake Alex did. You went too deep. Six Flags more fun for adults-only trip. Woo! All right. You got a ton of hollows. And a Gardevoir and a Dreadnought. I'm so sorry, Mr. Donovan Peacock. That's tough luck. That is a tough round. Mr., where are you from? I'm from Missouri. Ooh. Missouri is one of the cheapest states to live in, if you didn't know that. It's a pretty boring state, actually. But now that I've moved to Lake of the Ozarks, I'm really, really happy. Six Flags is better, especially after a bit of edibles and homies. Okay, but as long as you and the homies are wearing socks. All right. Next up, we have Caesar Soto, who says live custom. You got it, Mr. Caesar Soto. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, Mr. Caesar Soto. He got it on one pull. Holy. This is a wild night in the live custom boosters. I don't know why you guys are being so crazy. That's going to be Buzzwool 10. Mr. Caesar Soto.
There you go. Where are the feet? <laughs> we're gonna open. We're gonna open up Pokemon cards with our feet. Now we've got nurses. Nurses says five more Japanese team ups. You got it. Anything for nurses. Give me a second. Let me find them. Two, three, four. We got four and five. There we go. Oh, I think I grabbed too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I grabbed too many. Oh. All right. They've been treating me good. I like them. I like the team up packs a lot. Man, first Alex has a tough round. And then Caesar Soto does the exact same thing. What do we got? All right. First pack is cold. Second pack has Blastoise. Ooh, Hollow Blastoise. Here's Moltres. Cold. Well, that's a tough round in Team Up. You got the Blastoise Hollow, mister. I would say that's a tough round, but, you know, the funny thing is, even when the round is tough, it's not too bad when you can pull Blastoise or Charizard. God, I love this song so much. It's so good. It's a little bit loud, though. Nathan Lewis is next. Nathan, he says, one silver lance. Those PayPal fees kill me when somebody orders a one $4 pack. Let's see. House the Line? You know, it hasn't been too bad the last two days. That's a cold one. So I doubt that the line is too bad tonight either. Now we have Alex PSX, who says one live custom booster. Oh, Alex, boop, 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 boop. You missed by one. You missed by one. I'm sorry, Alex. You got this lovely Raichu. He looks kind of cool. Oh, Alex. Be careful with those live customs, everyone. Jack Walsh, one live custom and two Eevees. You got it, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't come. Let's see. Oh, water energy for Jack Walsh. How about those Eevees? I want some Eevees. Mr. Jack. How much for toenails? Uh, toenails are free. I sell little packets of my toenails for free. That's cold. And that's cold. Woo! We're clearing the cold ones. That's what it feels like for the last few orders. Woo! We haven't gone that deep, though, to be honest. Here we are, Jack Walsh. The live custom boosters have been normal. Just got to be careful with them. Justin Huerta, he says, one more. Hidden fakes. Hidden jutsu. Here you go, Mr. Justin Huerta. He's ready to pull the SV-49 Charizard. Nope, that is not going to be a lucky pull there. You got the fighter energy. Send him out to PSA, and everyone will groan. They'll be like, you're the reason that is taking forever for my cards to come back. Not the thousands of people submitting at the same time. All right, Mr. Justin. <laughs> Here we are. Your, your five energy cards are the reason that is taking them a year to grade my cards. I knew it. <laughs> now we got Arturo, another Lion King. Keep it sealed. Ah, we got one of those right here, Mr. Arturo. Can you feel... The love tonight. <laughs> Whew. I was getting sweaty on those hot scenes. Next up, we got Steven Demas. Two packs of 2021. You got it. Do we have any more 2021? We're running low, man. I think we need a restock. So this is for our friend Steven Demas. How many spots left in the Origins break? It's about halfway done. Why, are you one of those guys who waits till there's... Two spots left. I'm watching you. Steep. Steep. 
In two years' time, Mr. will have over 100 graded energies. We're going to grade every energy. All right, we got Andre, Lonnie, DeAndre, Austin, Kristaps, Tori, Killian, and Aaron Nesmith. Wow. Daniel says, I don't see the price for the Lion King packs. That's because I have like two of them left. They're pretty much already sold out. I never had many of them. Here's William. Can you feel the love tonight? Well, we got we got Dylan, Bojan, Thomas. K oh, we got an Aaron Nesmith jersey. Take a look at that, mister. Congratulations. What's the Star Wars set called? I want to look into it. It's called Star Wars Bleep Bleep Bloop Bloop. Uh, I, it's, it's Star Wars 2015 something. If I got on if 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 I got on the internet, I could look it up, but I I can't remember. I'd have to go get into my PayPal and look up the name of it from my PayPal. We got Tyler Bay and Timberwolves. I'll just keep it a mystery till it arrives for fun, okay? I have a first edition Hollow Team Rocket Energy card in Preston condition. What's a Preston condition? All right, Stephen Demas. Where am I going to find your bag, Stephen? He says needs a new bag. Oh, thank you, Stephen, for letting me know. That saves us some time. Brandon says, sorry, I'm late. Unacceptable, Brandon. Guards, take Brandon and throw him in the dungeon. Stephen Demas. Boop. Toenail ramen. <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm. Tastes like the floor. All right, and I'm refreshing now. Pokemon's Poke. Did you decide on a chair? <sighs> I've not decided on a chair, but I'm in desperate need of a new chair. It is tilted over to a degree that is really hurting my back now. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting on a I'm sitting on a blanket that helps level out the seat, but it's like my back still hurts because of the unevenness. It's weird. Hard to describe. Yeah, we need some new slabs up here. You guys want me to go grab some new slabs? I'll be right back. Any from here that didn't get priced? The Giratina didn't. This dude Wudo can stay. So can the Giratina. Uh, I kind of want to keep that guy. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh. Yeah, that feels messed up, man. Okay, do we need new slabs, huh? Maybe some that haven't been priced yet, if I can find it. What do we got here? Well, these haven't been priced. I don't even think these are supposed to be for sale. Got this box full of slabs. No, these are pretty good. Okay. These are good. Can we grab some more? Yeah, I'm a little worried that the blanket raises my butt cheek too high on one side. I will. I will. What can you do? I need Beckett slabs for sale. Who's that? <laughs> Look at this smooch him. Oh, 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 oh. So not all of these are for sale. Um, I just grabbed a whole bunch in a pile. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The Latios Latios. Here's Whooper. Butterfree. Loogies. Nine Tails, Nine Tails. Raichu. Mewtwo. Celebi. 
Urshifu, Hyper Rare, Rayquaza, Full Heal Energy, and Dark Alley Kizam. Can I buy Lion King Pack for three forty? Is all I got to till tomorrow, Mister. Well, Mister, why don't you just wait till tomorrow? All right, let's see what's next. That Lugie and the Alazam. I know, I love Alazam. My grandmother really enjoys tonight's thumbnail. Oh, thank you. Let's see. That's my wife's feet. She's a foot model. I told her she could quit her job and just be a foot model. So, after Stephen Demas, we have Mr. Mike Side who wants one live custom boofter. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Oh, Mr. Mike Side, it's a cold one. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Mr. Mike Side. Here we go. I'm sorry. And Devin Kawamura, two live custom boofters. Oh, Devin. Boop, 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 boop. Here's the kitty and boop, 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 boop. Ah! PSA 9 SM79 for Devin Kawamura. Devin. Really? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, Devin. You've got Shining Celebi from the Shining Legends Collection. That's a hit, man. That's a really good one. All right. I like that. And uh, Devin Kawamura. Where's your bag? Here it is. Sounds like Devin Kawabunga. This D-Box is all the way full. Do we have room up top, maybe? Nope. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Watch a bunch of names back here. Be people who don't even visit the channel anymore. Who's Foster Kimes? I haven't heard of a Foster Kimes, and I don't, I don't remember his name. Here's a Destiny Guerra, Destiny, Dustin Robertson. Here's a David Beginsky. That's an old one. Darren Van Pape, Dennis Jack Jakupovic. Frederick Kamusa, Camison, Elliot Clark. I remember Elliot Clark. Evan Warren. I remember Evan Warren, actually. Finnegan Real. Who else? Daniel Schmidt. Damon Sims. All right, so we made some room up top. I'm going to put this bag over here. And... Uh, these are going to have to be moved off somewhere. These are going to have to be moved off to, like, the abandoned bag shelf or something. We're going to have a long-term storage shelf is what we'll call it. Long-term storage shelf. That sounds a lot nicer, doesn't it? Okay, now there's room in the D-box. Why not write the date on the bag of the day it is made, mister? Nah, we don't need to do that because I'm not going to take their cards. Well, maybe I will. Maybe when they're, like, crazy old. Is the Cinderace for sale? What what Cinderace? Next up, we got James Gower. He says 10 EV heroes and one custom booster. You got it. 10 of them, huh? What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Throw that away. Nine, 10. Mr. James. I can feel it now. These are the lucky ones. Have an auction for abandoned bags? Nah, that's not going to happen. I think what I can do is I can create a storage system where they just sit for years. Sneep. Uh, one thing I might do, though, if your bag has nothing but, like, a few hollows in it, you're out of here. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saving a few hollows. The other one is... Maybe if your bag has nothing but one V card in it, I'm not talking about a V Max or a Full Art. I'm talking about just like one V card in it. You're out of here. <laughs> if you got a bag that's like a year old and all you've got is one V card, you definitely abandon your cards. That's cold. Here, oh, you are lucky. Look at that. It's Jolteon. Mister said we could all come over for Fourth of July and go for a ride on his boat. Ah, 
I wish I had a boat. You know how torture it is to, uh, torturous it is to watch people drive by in their boat? But, you know, I was talking to my neighbors, and they were saying that the best time to buy a boat is in the winter. So my wife and I might aim to try and uh, finance a boat in the winter. And the, by the way, boats are like $80,000. It's like another mortgage. So, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're in no rush to get a boat, to be honest. Uh, but we'll have a boat eventually. We'll have a boat eventually. Let's see, what do we got? Here's Aldegas. You know, for you guys to come hang out, I think that would be kind of tough because I don't even think there's an airport for you guys to fly in. I think there's an airport uh, north of Lake of the Ozarks in a place called uh, Columbia, but then you would still have like an hour drive down to me. Jeski's more fun. That's right, but mine needs to repair. Mine needs a repair. Why are there 19 spots in the AO box break? I just need to write in the rest of the numbers, that's all. Good question. So James Gower, where did I see your bag last, Mr. James? Were you over here? Did James have a spot in the overflow? Bradley Joseph Gyron had a spot in the overflow. Maybe you were over here. Justin Joseph, James Gower. Yes, you were in the overflow, it was this overflow. Nice pulls, Mr. James. Now, you still have a live custom bloofter. Let's see what your live custom bloofter was. Oh, you've got a nice one. So you get all three of these team-ups. That's your live custom bloofter. You ready? Let's see what's in these. Sneep. Oops. Let's see. Cold. Oh, picking up a Charizard Hollow. Very good. All right, that's a hit. And cold. Very nice, mister. Not bad at all. Picking up the Charizard. Alex, PSX, he says, make sure to read my message. Live shipping my bags, my uh, signed McDonald's picture frame, vintage packs, and Togo Kids slab from cheese, another slab to address. <laughs> All right, Alex, you got some special live shipping. Give me a minute. Why do you got to go and make things so complicated? Isn't that the lyrics to a song? So I'll come back to PayPal and look that message back up. Looks like you might have a secondary address or a new address that you're shipping them to. And you have some things that you don't want me to miss. Here we are. Sweet. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff to ship. Mr. Nathan, do you think I can trade $90 muck in my bag for three ancient origin spots, says Nathan Lewis. Mr. Nathan. Nathan with an N? Uh, let me see if I can find your, I'm trying to remember, are you in the overflow, Nathan? Let me see if I can find your bag. A $90 muck, are you talking about a vintage muck? You must be talking about a vintage muck. I'm open-minded, um, but really I ought to just sell the packs, you know what I mean? I wasn't planning on buying a muck today. Master Nathan, especially right now, because I need to... Clearly, I need a new chair. So now is the time. Oh, you did have a bag, Mr. Marquez. Here you are. You did have a bag. You were in the overflow. I found you. So you got a sports bag and a regular bag, okay? Huh. You're not in the actual end box, are you? How's life? Terrible. I'm in it. No, I'm just kidding. I like being alive. <laughs> Mark, Mitchell, Nick. Who here is having the toughest life and why? I buy used every Goodwill is life. What? Michael, Nicholas, Maximus, Mi Michael, Matthew, Mario. I feel like you had an overflow bag. Mr. Nathan Lewis, I can't even find your bag. I don't know where it's at. It's probably probably nearby. Manuel Garcia's got a huge bag. 
Oh, man, my back's really hurting. Matoski, Michael Manuen. It's because of this damn chair. Here we are, Nathan Lewis. All right. There are way too many M bags. Hmm. I think he said he had a muck, right? So you must have two bags. Is that what's going on? I think there's two bags for Mr. Nathan Lewis. That's my guess. I'm going to put this one in the end box. I have a bit of an end box going on over there. Um, uh, you know what, Mr. Nathan? I'm not going to go looking for your other bag for now. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll do the trade for now, okay? I, a $90 muck sounds like an already graded muck. Unless you're talking like maybe like first edition fossil muck. That might be 90 if it looked like it could grade really well. Next up, we've got... Oh, to refresh. Slab price tonight. What's up, Casey? Mr. Casey, we'll, we'll grade the... Uh, we'll price the slabs when the stream slows down, okay, mister? Which it probably will, because I, I go pretty fast. Just swap it for another normal chair. All right, I'm doing it. I think that would be worse somehow. Okay, after Nathan, we have Daniel Garcia. He says, one Japanese EV heroes. Need a new bag. You got it, Mr. Daniel. Good thing we made room in the D-Box. Daniel Garcia. Oh, sleep. There we go. Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel, that is a cold pack of EV heroes. I apologize, Daniel. Sam Boston says, first time buyer, new bag. He wants a, an NBA 1920 hoops. Sounds good. He's here for the hoops. Here they are. Time to pull a $100,000 Zion Williamson, right? <laughs> My concrete slab for our house is getting poured next week. I'm super excited. Woohoo! We got Kevin Durant, Paul George. All right, and here we are. Rookie P.J. Washington and Karis Levert. Karis Levert. So these are your hot pulls, and these go into your, your hit bag. Mr. Open a Shiny Star V just for the boys. What about the girls? The girls probably want stuff. Fresh bag for Mr. Sam Boston. You're going to go in the S box, Mr. Sam. Tim Duncan is my favorite SF. Yes, my favorite, too. So we're going to say Sam Boston. PSA opens tomorrow. Maybe. We don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Sweet. Hugo says NBA is over. Is it over the moon? I declare... I'm going to go check out my new two-acre land in Big Bear this weekend, taking all the toys with me. What? My wife had left me, and I needed to pay the bills. I was really depressed and wasn't thinking straight to look into it all. No one told me about the boom. They were all pristine condition cards. Wolfski says, get hockey packs. Hockey? What the heck is hockey? I never heard of that. Jormo says, July always feels good for some reason. Technically, PSA is always open. They're still working, just not taking cards. That's true. That's very deep. Next up, we got Louis Barrera. He says, one, EV Euros. Oh, Mr. Louis. How much for the Latios? For the Latios, do you sell PSA cards? Occasionally, yeah. Hente packs. I don't think we can sell hente packs on uh, YouTube's. I don't even know if there are hentai packs. Somebody told me there's Playboy cards. July sucks because all the new doctors come in. Playboy cards come soon. Those will be streamed on my OnlyFans. <laughs> Sneep. Get exotic snack for Halloween. Oh my God. What do we got? We got, oh, Glaceon. Look at this Glaceon. Sweet. And that is for Louis Barrera. How's it going, Louis? Louis, you got the best one. How'd you do it, mister? I saw Batman and Green Lantern cards at Walmart. 
Batman cards. Green Lantern cards. Ugh. What do you do with all the bulk? Do you use them for bonfires? I take them all and I throw them in the lake. All right, <coughs> we are caught up now, and there is no wait time for opening cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and price these all up. And you might be surprised, some of them might be quite cheap. So let's see what happens. We'll start by turning the music down a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Dark Al Dark Alakazam. And we're gonna say PSA eight on this card. And he is a hollow. Actually, I wonder if I could just put his number in. He's number one. No, better not. Okay. Of course the way I sell these is cheapest price, so we look for the cheapest possible price. So it looks like he is for $120, unless this one is hollow. Is this one hollow? No, I think that one's uh, non-hollow. So the cheapest one is for $120. And to be honest with you guys, as much as I like just writing on the card with the marker, you know, it just, it really does just rub right off. Let me go ahead and cut this in half. It really does just rub right off. So let me, um, let me create these little price tags that we've been using. And don't worry, pretty soon we will have actual price tags. Those are on the way. But this is a better system than what we were doing. We live in a clown world. What are you talking about? One. One, five. Okay. How do I celebrate the fourth? Well, I could go up, go out and blow up some fireworks, but you know, those are pretty expensive, so maybe I just go buy some Pokemon cards. I can tell you, I can guarantee you that we will definitely have a Pokemon card live stream. I don't, well, then again, my wife might want me to, well, I think we could, the stream starts at 12, so I should be able to get the stream done either way. Okay, that's the Alakazam. How about that Rayquaza? It should be nuts out here where I live because they shoot off fireworks even when it isn't 4th of July. Okay, so the Rayquaza is a mere $48. And I'm just going to write it like this. And the reason I th say that is because I know this is probably going to sell very fast. So the Rayquaza is 47. And then we have Celebi as well. So the Celebi goes for $43. Wow, those are not that valuable. Too many of them. And that's what's supposed to happen. If there's too many of a card and it's too easy to pull, the price is supposed to come down on them. Okay, and now Nine Tail Seven, base set two. Okay, give me a give me a moment. Base Nine Tails. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, the cheapest looks like we're gonna price at sixty five dollars. Well, technically, it should be 69, so we're, we'll actually make ours uh, 67. 67. How much for the Raichu, says Casey? The dark Raichu or the one behind the Rayquaza? You want to know the one behind the Rayquaza? I can look it up. That's the one you're... Since we're looking up PSA prices right now, I can do that for you. There we go. Okay, so that's 67. And now we've got this lovely Raichu. He's only a nine, so he should be pretty cheap, actually. And this should be SM90. 
65. He is 65. How much for the Ampharos? So this is 65. Hey guys, for those semi ridges, I got the size that's a bit smaller. Should I be worried? No, they're, they're good. The smaller ones work. Can't believe the Amazing Rares are so cheap, to be honest. Well, um, that's just how it is. If they print a lot of it, it's going to come down in price because it's so common. So there's there's many of them available. There's too many too many people who have the card and too few of buyers, and this brings the price down. And so this is actually a pretty decent price because, you know, the, there's the price of grading it already. And then on top of that, then you have the value of the raw cards. The, the value of this raw card can't be very good. Oh, I have a PSA 8 Nine Tails as well, huh? Okay, so give me a minute. This should be easy. So, it, it costs a bit more, um, but not very much. It's a very interesting thing, actually. So, this would be 70 It's only $3 more than the PSA 7. And I find that this happens sometimes price discrepancies like this where maybe a lower grade is a bit more costly than it should be that happens every now and then okay there we go we got a round of cards priced up wab that ampharos which ampharos I don't know which Ampharos you're referring to. Uh, I'm going to let these sit for a while before we price up more of them, okay? All righty then. Let me go ahead and turn my volume back up and refresh the PayPal list. Oops. There we go. How do I get a Pokeball next to my name, says Tatum. Tatum, uh, the Pokeball next to your name comes from being a member of this YouTube channel. So it's very similar to, like, subscribing to someone on Twitch. You're pledging a, an amount of money, and then over a period of time, uh, that money gets paid out, I think. So a membership on this YouTube channel is $2 a month, and you get the Pokeball next to your name, and you get access to all the exclusive emojis. So let's see, what's next? Let's see. Here's Lewis's previous order. Now we have Mr. Ricardo Marquez, who wants the Rayquaza. That's what I thought would happen, actually. Isn't that funny? I thought the Rayquaza would sell really fast. R. Marquez. Really nice. Jet Ceramic says, for the Rayquaza. Oh, Mr. Jet, you missed it. Uh, I'm going to have to refund you, Mr. Jet. Oops. He says, so close. Yeah, so when you guys order a slab, be sure to call it out so others know, okay? Louis Barrera says, I'll take a chilling rain. You got it. We got lots of chilling rain. All right. Mr. He ordered the Celebi as well. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll have to run into that. Mr. Lewis, here you have Lycanroc and Teleon. What? Nothing too crazy out of that round. Ricardo Marquez says, Celebi, you got it. Oh, Mr. Ricardo. Sweet. So nice. Now we have Sam Boston, who says, Shining Fates Pack for the Girlfriend. You got it, Sam Boston. This is for Sam Boston's girlfriend. And he pulls, Roly Coley. Oh, mister, that's the one your girlfriend really likes. Maybe. Could I trade cards on the Discord? 
Uh, that is something I'm still debating. I might actually get rid of the uh, the card trade channel. You might be referring to that. I, I'm debating getting rid of it, okay? I'm always debating getting rid of it, and uh, I'm really leaning toward getting rid of it. Now we have to refresh. I should grab that right you. I have one, but I think mine will get a 10. I couldn't sleep, so I'm back. The one guy in the chat trying to promote his audiobook. <laughs> what? Go buy my audiobook. What's up, Snorlax? He says hi back. He's talking to Emily. All right, now we've got an order from Mr. Andre Ibarra. Three chilling rain. I need good luck. I bought five vivid today at my local card shop, and they were all cold. Uh-oh. Well, have no fear. These are only hot chilling rains. Oh, man, cat fur. What's up, Sir Dax? How's it going, man? Far behind Raichu Row. What? Sneep. Mister, did you know that Vivid Voltage got a reprint? I do know about that. Uh, their boxes became much more affordable at that point. Okay, Andre. Sauce Buck. Pack number two. You mask Tapu Finny. Oh, I don't know. Tapu's a hollow. And... Oh! Zorora Full Art. See? TCC never lets you down. We only have hot cards on this channel. That's not true. <laughs> I wish that was how it worked. Okay, and that goes to Mr. Andre. We have to find your bag first. Amos Andre. He says, thanks, mister, no problem. What a nice looking card. If I buy cards, how long will it take to get them, says Carter. Well, Carter, it depends on how you want to be shipped out. You can pay $6 for live shipping and I'll ship you out the exact same day that you order. Or you can head over to our Discord and ask me to ship your cards. That's free shipping, but it, it can take like a full week for them to go out, okay? So that's how it works. Free shipping versus live shipping. Oh, you're talking about the Rocket Returns Dark Ampharo. So whenever it comes to, to Rocket Returns, to tell you the truth, uh, the Rocket Returns aren't supposed to be for sale. And that is because I discovered Rocket Returns is actually pretty rare. And I like Rocket cards. I need to have like a box to put them in. So they stop getting onto this table. Okay. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. Mister, why are you breaking our hearts? How much is a Rainbow Rare Pokemon worth? It depends on which Rainbow Rare. Rainbow Rare Mag Cargo isn't worth that much. But if you have Rainbow Rare Charizard, he could be worth a lot. If you have Rainbow Rare Burning Shadows Charizard and he grades, grades 10, he could be worth $2,000. All right, so we are slowed down again. And I tell you what, I'll go ahead and price more cards out then. Why don't we price this whole pile? How about that? So I'll start out by cutting more energy cards. Mister, we should do a vintage Yu-Gi-Oh box break. That's true. We could do that. Uh, we're, we've got a lot on our plates at the time. We got the large... We've got the Ancient Origins box break, and we've got the Gym Challenge box break. So here's the Ancient Origins. Uh, oh, the Gym Challenge box just arrived, too, by the way. So I've got the box in my hands now. All right. So let me sneak these up. You offer 20 for the energy. This energy? That's a, a 2000 first edition Team Rocket full en full heal energy. It's not, a, uh, it's not like a modern energy card. That's a vintage card. And if I had to guess... It's probably going to be about 70 bucks. That's my guess. But I'm not going to know until I look it up, okay? The dark one. What is the most expensive card in your collection? Sneep. It's this energy card. Flip a coin. If heads, it's 70. If tails... Well, <laughs> if I'm going to play a game of chance over the price, you would have to agree to pay, let's say, 140 if it lands on heads. And if it lands on tails, then I would agree to sell it for uh, 20 bucks or whatever. You know what I mean? 
in other words, you've got there's no downside for you in the in the coin toss, but for me there is a downside in the scenario that you created. So let's look up the price of that full heel first. How about that? So PSA nine, we're gonna say first, and we're gonna say full heel and add rocket to it. Oh, it's actually not that expensive. I take it back. So this card is only $38. I overestimated the price on that one. I guess it's just because it's a, uh, I guess it's just because it's a common and common. All right, let's see what else. I'll place this over here for now. Mewtwo 10. So 10, and this is number 31, Mewtwo. So the Mewtwo is 60. Flip a coin. 50 bucks for Mewtwo. Mewtwo is pretty close to that, but it's actually 60 bucks. Ooh. There we go. Now we got Magnazone. PSA 10. This is SV29. Wow, he's gone up in price. So you would think the Magneton would have gone down in price, but he's actually gone up. And he's going to be $73. That's very cool. Okay, so there's Magnazone. Uh, you know, I bought this for fun. It's uh, Smoochum238. So the Smoochum is 130. What did I pay for it? Oh, I never marked it. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to I'm going to actually hold on to this and it's going to say 130 on the back. 471. It shouldn't say 71. It should say it should say 721. How about that? There we go. 721. Mister, do you have any Gold Star cards? How many times have you asked me that? I have no gold star cards. Zero. <laughs> Sunkern. So this is PSA 9 Sunkern. Buster. Are you going to trade me? This mint Sunkern is actually pretty expensive. It's $81. We'll do 79 There we go. The very, the first ever XY Evolution PSA 10 Chansey got graded. Did it really? <laughs> Who got it? Is it someone with the YouTube? That's funny as heck. PSA 10 Chansey. I wonder if it has a print line though, you know, because, uh, you know, I was buying up those XY Evo Charizards and they had, it turned out they had print lines. <laughs> So they're out there, apparently. PSA will grade them. That's what that tells you, basically. Oops. Latios, Latios. Uh, we'll offer him in a large eventually. Here's a Magneton and an Eevee. Tell you what, let's check up on the line and see where we're at. Brown here asking for free packs, asking about PSA cards. Don't add up. That's, that's maybe true. All right, we're refreshing. Woo! I was just looking for some free ones, man. Let's see what we got. We've got an order for Mr. Jonathan Morris. He says, I'll take the PSA 8, Nine Tails, and an Evo pack. And then he says, the rest of the tip. Aw, uh, thank you, Jonathan Morris. Let's see what you get out of your Evo pack. Now, obviously, if you're giving a tip, that means you got to pull Charizard. Oh, it's a reverse holo Clefairy. 
All right, you got reverse hollow clefairy and it looks real clean. You also pull a Pikachu. All right, Pikachu. That's for Jonathan Morris. Oh, Jonathan. Ever done Booga Saga when you were drunk? It's crazy. What? I'm in Paris heading to Dubai and the plane is broken. What? So he wanted the Nine Tails 8. Here it is. All right. Sweet. Packology says, hi, mister. Ooh, I've been to Dubai. It's dope out there. There we go. A little bit of a slow night. You know, I had a feeling it was going to be a slow night because when we started, it took us a while to break 100 viewers. What is tonight? It's like Wednesday or something? It's Thursday night. Wow, it's getting late, man. How are we already so close to the weekend? Next up, we got Alexio Alvarez. Alexio says, Mr. Two Dragon Ball Rivals. You got it, Mr. Alexio. Can you open a few packs just for fun, or do you only sell them? No, I open up packs all the time, but what I do is I open up packs on TikTok so that I'm making, I'm always making like new content over there as well. Actually, I've kind of fallen behind on that. We've got Android 20, Skill Absorber. He's going to absorb your skill. That's theft. And SS Bardock, The Legend Awakened. Oh, SS Bardock. Boop. So that's for Mr. Alexio. Thank you so much, Alexio. Now, the question is, where did I put your bag last Adam, Andrew, and Tony. I feel like your bag's up top somewhere. Have you had sloppy toppy in that chair? Uh, I'll decline to comment. Has anyone bought the hero gun perks? Boop. All right, and let's refresh. Slow night for sure. Maybe I should just wrap up tonight. We had a slow night a couple weeks ago. My, maybe if I wrap up early, I can uh, get a bunch of shipping done and make some content for TikTok. Lugia. We got a Lugia 3. I don't know how to price the Lugia 3. Have you ever had a Quack Quack 3000? What's the rainbow rare behind Mewtwo? The rainbow rare behind Mewtwo. I don't know. Let's look this up, though. PSA 3, Lugie. There is a PSA 3 English Lugia. There's a Japanese one, but it's graded by CGC. I'm just going to make mine a bit more expensive than the CGC one, since that seems to be the way things go. So the CGC one is roughly $80. I'm gonna make mine 85. Not much of a difference. Canada and Australia are fake, prove me wrong. That's right, they don't even exist. They're an illusion to trick you into voting one way or another. <laughs> what? Can we play Guess That Pokemon with a cheaper pack than Evo? Your chair talks as much as you do. That's right. Let's play Who's That Pokemon. What's up, Dave Charmander? How's it going, man? Damien says, how about some of Who's That Pokemon? Where can I buy some of your graded cards? Jaromo, Jaromo says, that got me. Uh, I, th I think I might wrap up tonight. I think that might be what we do. Have an early night. I haven't had an early night in a long time. Leonhart doing Yu-Gi-Mon vids? Really? Is Dave Charmander, Simon says, who's that Pokemon for the Lugia? What's that nine-rated rainbow? Call it a night. 
All right, so I'm just gonna check my activity and when the uh, when the orders dry up, I'm probably just gonna call it and, and head out to, uh, well, not to bed, but to work. So we have uh, three new orders, maybe? Joshua says, use my store credit for a live custom. That's Joshua Maldonado. Joshua, you got it. Mr. Joshua, doo -doo 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 -doo. you've got, who's this? It's the scientist guy. And let me go find your bag. Mr. Joshua, Johnny Ceruzzi, Jorge Sanchez, Jonas, John Lohman, John. Alex says, I bought the Luvia. Oh, mister. Holy. Here we go, Joshua Maldonado. It's a nice looking Lugia. Can you show priced cards? I don't know, can I? That's a good question. Michael Cusick. Michael says, three unbroken and three sun and moon base. You got it. Oh, it's Faba. That's right, his name's Faba. Boop. Come on now. We are now sold out of unbroken bonds. Give me a minute. Unbroken, where are you? Here they are. I'll go ahead and save that. All right, let's get these open. Okay, we got one, two, three. He has high socks, so he down a up. What? Oof. What are you talking about? The higher the socks, the downer. What? And then here's the sun and moon base. So much trash from these. All right, there we are. All right. Woohoo! So once again, this is for our friend, Michael Cusick. Mr. Michael, what will your pokey fate have tonight? Sleep and sleep. How about these sun and moon base sets? Sleep. Oh, whoa, that was slippery. You're here for the shiny Flygon. That's the best card. All right, Sun and Moon base. We've got Rowlet. Ooh, that's a good reverse hollow, actually. Eevee's a good reverse hollow as well, Aranguru. And Trombeak. So those were cold. How about the Unbroken Bonds? Those can't be cold, Inke. Oh, that's actually a hit. So the reverse hollow Mew is definitely gradable. And... Just Porygon. Wow, that's a tough round. Good thing you pulled that Mew because uh, that, there was nothing else in there. No v, no GXs, no Full Arts. That's for Michael Cusick. And uh, I do consider the Mew gradable, at least. Mr. Michael. Boop. Next up, we got Alex PSX, who says he'll take the Lugia. Mr. Alex, here you go. I would be down to flip a coin, though I know that. What? <laughs> there we go. Do you think Chilling Rain is a good set? I do, actually. I think Chilling Rain is a good set. Mr. You're growing fast. You were on 18.5 yesterday, and now 18.7. Man, it's those TikTok clips that Mike Side's been bringing over here to YouTube. How many Ancient Origin spots are left? Yeah, so there are 16 sold, and there'll be a total of 36. Let me finish writing it out real fast. So it'll be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, oops, 
36. So this is how much has been sold off, and this is how much is left. Uh, we're pretty close to halfway done selling off the box. If the rest of the box sold off tonight, we do the box breaks tonight. The moment it's sold out is the moment we open it. Ugh, sitting on my leg that whole time. <laughs> now it's all stiff. What Ancient Origins is it? A booster box, says Dave Charmander. Yeah, Ancient Origins is an XY era booster box. So it's an out of print booster box. It contains some really fantastic cards in it. Probably the most valuable card in the set will be the Full Art Lugia, but it's got many other really good cards in it too, which is why we're opening it. Another reason why you might want to be in an Ancient Origins box break is because if you were to buy individual packs online, uh, you'd probably get ripped off because the packs can actually be weighed for the hits. So people who sell the packs online are probably weighing them first. Whereas in a box break, you see the box get open right in front of you, so you know none of them have been weighed. All right, now we have an order from Mr. Jack Gray. He says, let me get a pack of Dragon Ball Z. Ugh, you got it, Jack. What's a Blastoise? What is a Blastoise? Snip. So, we've got Royal Supremacy. That's so royal. I wear socks on my socks in case a foo don't have socks. What? <laughs> yeah, I chose Ancient Origins because I think it's one of the best kind of like affordable box breaks there are. What do we got to have here? In terms of price, it's actually surprisingly affordable. For how old it is, it's, it's quite old. Where's Jack Gray? Thought you were in here, Jack Gray. Did we ship you? Oh, he says I might need a new bag. I'm sorry. Here we go. New bag. Is Shining Legends weighable? I've heard rumors that it is, but I don't think it is. I think we tried weighing it on this channel and it didn't work. Or was that something else? I don't remember. Woo. Jack Gray. Dang, I just ate a whole pizza to myself. Please help. Simon, you're going to have to go for a jog, man. Or you're going to die from the diabetes. Okay, we're all caught up. I'm going to refresh the list again. I weighed my Shining Legends against the gold standard. The gold standard, mister. I only know the pokey standard. Never heard of this so-called gold standard. I'm happy all these companies have found ways to make all the packs weigh the same. It keeps it keeps me honest. Yeah, it definitely helps. Now we have an order from our friend David Muller, who says two live and one surprise Pokemon pack. You got it. Let's see what we got. Two live custom boosters. Mr. David. We got a fairy energy. And a Giratina. Hey, that actually looks really good. You know, it's not very often, but every now and then, there's a holographic card that's so nice, you might actually grade it. Woo! A little bit cold on the live customs. One surprise pack, huh? So, with six bucks, uh, I would open up a pack of Chilling Rain. That's the latest Sun and Moon set. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the latest Shield set. And it gives you a chance for the alternative art, Moltres, which is a really nice card. Let's see what we got. Oops. Oh, we pick up Galarian Slowking VMAX. Not bad. One pack, one full art. That's for Mr. David. David, do you have a bag? I think David needs a new bag. I'm going to create a new bag. Mr. David, Mr. F. <laughs> All right. Start opening packs like us peasants. We're here for the sneak. I could probably do that. I could probably do that. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to open up. Since you guys are all here watching, here's a whole box of Chilling Rain, and it's just for me. Maybe this will inspire you guys on the Chilling Rain. I want to see more Chilling Rain open, personally, because it's the latest set, and it's got a lot of cool cards in it. So this is my box of Chilling Rain. 
Uh, and we'll see what happens. Start off with a quarter of it, huh? All right, here we go. Surprise box break. Sleep. I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching some card openings. Right now, there's no wait time to open up cards if you wanted to open some yourselves. Some nights are busy, some nights are slow. It's just how it goes. Sleep. You know, it's 4th of July, and I bet a lot of you guys are out there buying fireworks. Not me. I'm out here buying Pokemons. We had to attach a Pokemon card to a rocket and explode it. Here is Cybold. So his name's Cybold, huh? Weezing Shaman. Agatha. Spiritomb Blitzel. Was Blitzel on a little... Here's Blaziken V. Did you guys know my wife's favorite card is Blaziken? She's a big fan of Blaziken. Okay, here's Snover Thunderous. Here's Tornadus. That's the card I wanted. How did you know, Pokemon? Man, this is a really big set. It says there's 198 cards in this set, huh? Whew. That's pretty large, especially when you compare it to the old like Fossil Jungle and uh, Rocket. All right. So the first quarter of the box gave us a VMAX and a V-card. That's pretty sweet. I'll toss this back over here. All right. Now we got this quarter of the pile. There's like 250 with the secrets. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. So this would be a hard set to complete, probably, if it's so large. Sneep. Oops. Now, like you guys, I'm hoping to get... What do you guys think? What's the top five cards for this set? Can anyone tell me what are the top five cards to pull out of this set in terms of value? What are we looking for? We got Quillfish, Cinderace. Oh, hold on. We'll put those over there. Moltres? Yeah, obviously the Moltres. Is he the number one, though? What do we got? Okay, we got a little Calyrex. Blaziken Altar? Yeah, that's probably pretty popular, too. Snorlax Blaziken Alt. Yeah, oh, the Golden Snorlax is in here. I forgot about that. Yeah, Golden Snorlax. Sawsbug. Here's Aeron. Well, maybe I'll clear a cold box for you guys. So you guys get that hot pull yourself. We got Calyrex V. Look at this Calyrex. Oops. Express is now 200 at PSA. Oh, very good. Yeah, 300 was insanely expensive. You know, that's still really, really expensive though, right guys? Express for 200, that's way more than it used to cost. I think in the past, I don't know how long ago it was, but their Express used to cost like 60 bucks. That was it. It was like 60 bucks. And now their Express is 200. What a joke. So so overpriced. Sleep. And sleep. And sleep. And sleep. All right, so this is the third quarter of the box. We haven't seen any hyper rares, ultra rares, or alternative arts or secret rares. So let's keep going. We got Gallade. There's hope for bulk. Nah, bulk prices aren't going down. I guarantee it. If anything, I think bulk prices will go up. There's Flaffy. Here's Crushing Gloves. And Zangoose Sandaconda. We got a Sandaconda. Only Express, Super Express, and Walkthrough are available. Yeah. What do we got? Karen's Conviction. Zebra Striker. Deerling and Calyrex. What? All right.
when PSA shut down, I, went, I wonder what happened to all the middleman services out there. I wonder if they all got killed by that. All right, here we are. One more. Probably not, actually. They probably just middleman to other services. That's probably what they do. Sneep. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so the hot cards have to be right here. Hopefully, this box has at least one hot card in it. We see this all the time. The hot card being in the very end of the box happens all the time. All right, here we are. So this ends one whole box of Chilling Rain. Inke. Here's Weavile Frostlass. Sandaconda. Wow, I'm getting nervous, man. Could be a box with no special hits in it, by the way. That is possible. There's only uh, five packs left, so there better be something in here. Expedition. Hatterene Celio, three packs to go. You guys feeling the nervousness? <laughs> oh, here we go. Now, what is that going to be? Oh, I got Full Art Melanie. That's a great pull. That's the Full Art Melanie. Sweet. But that's all I got was one Full Art Melanie. Is there no other pull? Tauros. And <laughs> that's it. The whole box. I got one Melanie. So I would call that a cold box because normally you'd expect to pull um, maybe like a Melody and a Hyper Rare. I would say kind of cold. Oh. Uh, all right. So what else did I pull? I pulled Melody, Sandaconda, Calyrex, Tornadus. Uh, so I got a total of four full arts, but those are all VMAXs. Nobody cares about VMAXs. And I got the typical four V cards. So in terms of pull rate, it's a very typical box. But really, only the Melanie is going to have much value. I could grade all of them, of course. But the Melanie is going to... Melanie is probably going to break $100 if she grades uh, 10. Of course, if she grades a perfect 10, she'll probably be worth like $1,000. CGC could give you a perfect 10 if the card was perfect. We could take a look at her real fast and decide if the card has a chance at that. So... I mean, I'd say the bottom might be slightly too thick. We flip it around also. You can see the left side's a bit thinner. Uh, I'm going to write P up here because this is going to have a better shot at grading a 10 at uh, PSA. And the Melanie will be sent off to PSA. Now, this Melanie needs to grade well in order to make my money back. And, and PSA is not even open, by the way, so I can't send it to PSA right now. As for the rest of these, I don't know. I don't know if these will go for much money. The VMAXs are probably, probably they'd sell for 60 bucks, 60 to 70. And it's kind of the same for the V cards. I'd range them 60 to 70 if they grade 10. They need to grade 10. Now, if I sent these all off to uh, CGC, they'd probably all be 9.5 at best. I think that was a little bit of a tough box, but that's because the next box... It's going to be the hot one. The next box is going to be the box with the alternative art Moltres in it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and refresh and see if anyone wants to open some cards. Let's see what we got. I think we got an order. Jarmo says bye, bye, bye. By the way, let me point something out. We were opening these earlier. You guys probably missed them. Here they are. Uh, we do have some more of the Lion King packs left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We got seventeen of the Lion King packs left. They're four dollars each. If you buy some, let everyone else know so that we don't overbuy them. So where do we leave off at? Here we are, Donovan Peacock. Two live customs for Donovan Peacock. Mr. Peacock. Say Peacock and nobody bats an eye. Say Poopcock and everyone goes crazy. Everyone loses their mind. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We got Stack Attacka and doo -doo 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 -doo. we got Porygon Z. I'm sorry, Mr. Peacock. That was a cold round. <laughs> That's tough, man. 
The live customs are scary. Where the heck is your bag? Oh, it's up top. Here we are. I am so sorry, mister. Here, you can have a spare UFC card. A little bonus card for you. Hmm. My Little Pony except actual real women? What are you talking about? Now we have Gabriel Hernandez. Ten packs of chilling rain. You got it. Anything for you, mister. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Woohoo! Do the Lion King packs have hollows? Mostly not. So it seems that there's a rare holographic card you can pull, but it's not guaranteed in a pack. So most packs are cold. And what will happen is you'll mostly cold, pull cold packs, and those cold cards will be added to your bag. If you happen to pull a holographic card, congratulations, you pulled a hot one. What's my favorite Pokemon? Um, This one. Sneep. Mister, are you going to price the rest of the slabs? I probably will eventually. Sneep. How long do you hang on to bags? Uh, you have a full year to get them shipped, but after a year, you might lose it. I might confiscate it as a as an abandoned bag. Of course, all you would really need to do is communicate to me like, hey, I know my bag's been sitting with you for a year. Can you hold it a little longer? My wife's going to beat me up if I, you know what I mean, if I have my car shipped. But, you know, if you're not even communicating with me, the bag's going to be considered abandoned after a year. Here's feel. So, let's pull a hot one. This is for Gabriel Hernandez. Mr. Gabriel. Oh, Mr. Gabriel, we got some hollows. Here's fire-resistant gloves. And Marip Zarud. How rude. And Melanie Blissey. This is what your wife's going to be doing to you when she finds out how many Pokemon cards you got. She said, you bought this rather than jewelry for me? Cast form. Lucky energy. Oh, no, man. You might be having a tough round. And Volcanion. That's 10 packs, two pulls. But they're both V cards. I'm sorry, man. That's a tough round for Mr. Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Only hot rounds for Gabriel. What is going on? Okay, we've got all your hollows here. Next up, we've got Henry Davidson, one live custom booster. This is my first order, so I will need a bag. Nice to meet you, Henry Davidson. Henry Davidson's first order. Do, 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 do. Oh, Henry, you got lucky, mister. Look at this. Henry Davidson, what'd you get? A box of jet black. Well, 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 mister Henry, you're gonna definitely need a bag for that. Where's my jet black? Here it is. That is a box of Jet Black Spirit. Mister. That's going to Henry Davidson on his first order. Holy moly. Now, Mr. Hen wrong bag. What are you talking about? Oh, you're right. I put Gabriel Hernandez's cards into a George Hernandez's bag. Thank you for catching that. I'm glad somebody saw that. Wrong bag. The bag looks very similar, obviously. They're both G. Hernandez. But that is a common last name, so I need to be a bit more careful. I'm now looking in the box for Gabriel. Did Gabriel need a new bag? Gabriel might have needed a new bag. Give me a minute. Can I please cash in on my live shipping, he mentions. Oh, okay. Give me a minute. Gene Hyatt. Garrett Griffin. Glenn. We need to find Gabriel Hernandez. Bronkton. Oh, put that back there.
I'm sorry. We'll open up that box of Jet Black Spirit in a moment. The previous order is not actually done yet. Oh, that's Ga different Gabriel. Here we are, Gabriel Hernandez with live shipping. Woohoo! All right. Let's get you set up for that live shipping. Now, I, I got a feeling I've never shipped you before. Go ahead and open up your PayPal. I'm sorry, mister. I was going a little fast there. Uh, and give me a moment. I got to open up stamps. Tell you what, while stamps is loading, let's start pulling these out of the box. <laughs> George Hernandez and Gabriel Hernandez. Ooh, I got to be real careful with stuff like that. Go ahead and sign in. Man, I'm having bad back pain from this terrible, terrible, terrible chair. The chair is so leaning to the left that it's, we had to put a, like a blanket under half my butt. <laughs> but the blanket doesn't feel right either. It feels all messed up, guys. Okay, let me grab your email real fast, Mr. Gabriel. There we go. And this is a very light pack. So we can put it at four ounces. Print. All right, it's going to unit 5045. <laughs> And you should have received an email to your PayPal email. So he's ready to ship out. And now we're ready to open all these cards up for Henry Davidson. Mr. Henry. Oh, Henry, a whole box. Mr., this is the content we were looking for. Sneep. One whole box of Jet Black Spirit. What do you say? We broke the Jim Hero box on March the 6th. Wow, time flies, man. Can you believe it's already July? Crazy. And I would have been living back at my condo at that point. In my new home, all settled in. My wife and I playing Smite together every day. We need to have kids already. I'll tell her. I'll be like, um, you're going to have to get pregnant now. Boop. All right, here we go. Here's Cobalion. And Gengar. We like Gengar. He's nice. Cold. I think my wife wants kids. I think it's the, the being pregnant part that's hard for her. You know, being pregnant really changes a woman's body a lot. And I think she's conscious of that. You know what I mean? Here's Metagross. We don't appreciate that enough. Girls get pregnant with our kids and then they don't look as young and pretty anymore. And then we go, oh, I don't even like you anymore. You're not as pretty. <laughs> oh, thanks for being pregnant for me, though. <laughs> Blissy. You ever think about that? Cold. Some ladies, they have a kid and it doesn't really change them too much. Maybe it's just a gene thing. Metagross. Look at this Metagross. So much Metagross. Cold. Hit the gym, woman. What? <laughs> I don't even hit the gym. Here's Octillery. Maybe I should hit the gym. You're black-pilled. What does that mean? Oh, you pull Full Art Cybold for your secret rare. Pretty nice, mister. So that's your secret rare. Mister, use Bullet Seed. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> tapu. We got the Tapu. Cold. Here's Zeraora. Oh. How can you have kids without doing it? Um... There's some things I could say, but I won't. Here's Rillaboom. 
All hail Mr. YouTuber says, and I'm an incel. An incel? Mister. That's okay, mister. <laughs> Cold. Here's Salaby. Adopt. What, more cats? Cold. Here's Brony Rex. That's right, Brony Rex would open my little pony cards. Mister, can we trade wives? Uh, probably not. <laughs> you can come, you can bring your wife and hang out at the uh, hot pool with us, though. <laughs> How does the slabs work? The slabs, uh, you look at them and you go, Mister, will you price the slabs already? And I say, oh, I will eventually. All right, Mr. Henry, not bad, huh? Your first order, you get a whole box on 20 bucks. Can you get my girlfriend pregnant and I'll raise your kid? Oh, my God. What the? <laughs> TCC, your tiles are getting better and better. Smooch. <laughs> so this is for Henry. Henry Davidson. I wonder if I could donate to a sperm bank. What, what do you think the requirements for that is? You think it's pretty tough? It's probably pretty tough. All right, and now I'm going to refresh. Whew. So tonight ended up being pretty busy, just like yesterday night. You know, I think there's this thing that happens where the live stream really slows down from the people who started out the live stream making orders. And then it gets like this second wind, like after the two hour mark or something. I don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you. What if you guys have a baby Pichu? Elon Musk says, I'll donate, but I need a handy. I'm lazy. <laughs> what? What are we talking about? So, after Henry, we have Devin Kawamura. He says, To Lion King, can you feel the love tonight? Sniff. Probably test you for Hep before you donate. What? What do we got? Mala. So no hollow there. How about this pack? This pack will be hollow. Scar. No hollows. We're looking for this look for majestic motion lenticular cards. That's what we're looking for. But these were not the cards, Mr. Devin. I'm sorry, Devin. Devin, if it was up to me, you would have gotten the lenticular cards. Can you feel... The love tonight. David Muller's got a big order. He says five live custom bloosters. Ooh, you could get unlucky here because your timing. Uh, the, the hot one was just pulled. Are you ready? Maybe you won't get unlucky. Boop, 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 boop. Here's Incineroar. Boop, 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 boop. Fighter Energy. Boop, 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 boop. Zorork. Oh, man. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, thank God. Two in the large. Well, that's not as bad as it could have been. And a bloop, 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 bloop. Magnazone. Woo! Okay, so that could have gone worse because your timing was pretty tough. You pulled right after a hit came out, and, and you know, typically that's going to be a tough time to be opening. But you do end up with two, two in the large. So if you think about it, really, you've lost about 20 bucks on this round. And that's it. Only 20 bucks. Instead, this is very similar to, like, buying two spots in the large. Safe, like in baseball, right? And who knows? Maybe these will be the hot cards. You never know. You've got a shot now that you're in the large. Somebody's going to pull it. Just like in the lottery. Somebody does actually win the lottery. It's just typically not you. <laughs> typically, it's not the millions of people who play. Just one person. And then the government's like, I'll take all that. Next up, we got Mr. Ran, three Lion King. If there's a hollow, sneep it. I have no bag. Oh, my God. Here we go, Mr. Ran. Ran's over here singing, Can you feel the love tonight? Ran. You've got to be kidding. You did. You got the uh, lenticular card or whatever it's called. What is it called? It's called lenticular. Ran, you gotta grade this. Don't cut it. It's so cool. Look at this. Ran says do it. Oh, you're killing me, dude. That's so fucking cool. 
that's the coolest thing we pulled out of them and you're cutting it. Are you sure, Ran? Ran, why don't you look up the value of this first so you know what you're cutting? It's called Majestic Motion Animal Dance in Unison. I'm looking it up. If it's expensive, you should consider selling it. Animal Dance in Unison. All right. It, it is a Majestic Motion. So, apparently, this is a Tier 1 lenticular. So, it's, it's not as rare as I thought. But, it's still... It's an old, uh, it's a sixteen dollar card, Ran. He wants me to cut it. That's a pity. I would grade it, honestly. All right. You're killing me, dude. Woo! All right, there you go. At least it's not like a two hundred dollar card or something. That would really. I would have trouble cutting this one because it's something we have never explored before. I'm sorry, Mr. Alex. Rand should have just given it to Alex. What are you thinking, Rand? <laughs> All right. Alex, remind me, what, what do you do for work? You work for Disney or something, right? Is Was that the case? You work at, like, Disneyland? I can't remember. Okay, cold and cold. I swear to God, if you'd pulled two of the lenticular cards. The frick? New job. Put it next to the SV49. I'll do it for you. Uh, you know, I don't have a uh, top loader. I wish I did. It's actually a really thick card. It's, it's quite strange. And, and I tell you what, it's hard to see it in this card uh, Deck, uh, I can't speak, in this deck holder. What are the deck sleeve? That's what I'm looking for. So it's easier to see here. Do you guys see that? Damn, that's cool. So, uh, by the way, I did actually find that Charizard. Here it is, Rand Maciel. I also found John Loman. Uh, and so now you got this little cool one as well. I don't think he's actually that rare and valuable, the uh, the, the Lion King one. But uh, we've opened up all your Lion Kings, so we're going to keep moving now. Woo! James Gower, four Lion King and an EV Heroes. This is for Mr. James. Sneep. Oh, my Lord. You ready? So now we know what we're looking for. We're looking for one of those, those fat lenticular cards. Cold and cold. Actually, we should be able to simply feel out if there's a lenticular card because it was clearly... Th well... No, nah, I don't think you'd be able to fill it out because it is thicker, but it's thicker by like a hair, you know? So, Mr. James, you got a bag in here. You're going to keep all those Lion King cards, even though they're pretty clearly bulk. But that's okay. They're a fun little thing, and uh, they very likely won't be coming back to the channel. They're just a little bonus thing. We need Ninja Turtles booster packs. <laughs> those are pretty iconic for the 90s, Ninja Turtles. We are going to be experimenting with Star Wars very soon. Now we've got Michael Cusick, three co Oh, wait, hold on. James Gower also wanted a pack of EV Heroes. Forgot about that part. All right, James Gower, one EV Heroes. Don't worry, James, I remembered. Brazier's Booster Pack. You know, if you guys reach out to me on Discord and you find the naughtiest booster packs there are anywhere, you know, like, I'm, it could be, like, straight-up nudity. I don't care. Show me those booster packs... And uh, maybe I'll do a live stream on the hub or something and open those for you guys. All right? Just a, just a thought. I'm not opposed to it, okay? Have a little degenerate stream for me and you. Say Brazzers again? Is it Braziers? Brazzer? I don't know how to say it. I'm not that cultured. Can't shame me for not knowing that word. Whoop. 
Belle Delphine has trading cards. The Orca cards that are nude. Will you muck on the cards first? TCC live on the hub. That's right. So now we have Michael Cusick, and he wants three cosmic. And can I get a pre grad? A pre grade? I'll donate the hollows. Thank you, Mr. Michael. You'll donate donate the hollows. Will you go ahead and donate the Pichu trainer arts too? All right, here we go. Ah. Steep. Steep. And Snape, can you feel the love tonight? We've got Swoobat. Swoobat. And Weavile. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We need a hot pull right now. Woo, there we go. Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff. It looks actually very decent. A little thinner on the bottom, uh, but at PSA, that should still be in the range of a 10. Now, Michael Cusick wants a pre-grade. Let's do a pre-grade. He said he'll donate his hollows, so I'll take those away. Wow, why is your bag always so full of good cards? You ready? Oh, now, wait a second. You actually had a Rowlet. That was pretty cute. And if I recall, you had this Eevee as well. Now, let me take it. The Eevee is too thin on the left compared to the right. I will not... I would just put that in the do donation pile, but this one might have a shot at a 10. So this Mew, would I grade this? I would. I would definitely grade that. Yep, send that one off. Blastoise, thinner on the side. He is thin on the left. I would definitely send him off. This is thinner on the left. So both the Blastoise and the Pikachu have a chance for a 10 at PSA. That's a bit closer to a 9. That's a 9. The bottom's thicker here. I would still give this a try. It has a small shot at a 10. Brawly? Brawly's tilted pretty bad on the back, unfortunately. Here's Calyrex. Damn, that looks good. Dude, the Calyrex is tilted just like the Brawly. I'm so sorry, but here you can see it. So see how the, thigh, the side is thin and the bottom is thick, and then this whole side is thick, and then this is thin up here. So it's tilted like this, see? So would I grade it? Yes, I would still send it in, but it's very likely a 9, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay, here's a cute Cubone. You could consider grading a Cubone. Somebody might want a Cubone. Here's the Dene. Junk Slab Era. <laughs> I can just hear someone saying it right now. All that matters is if somebody wants it. Don't listen to those guys. Yep, I'd say he's pretty close to a 10. I was, yeah, he's thin on the top. I wouldn't mess. Thin on the top. Yeah, I'd say he's got shot at a 10. He's thin on the left, sadly. That's a hollow. All right, I would keep the Gengar, actually. Gengar looks good. Yeah, Gengar might have a shot at a 10. Polyrath. Okay. No, there's something wrong with the card right here. I don't know what that is. Then on the bottom. Oh, that looks nice. Typhlosion Hollow. I feel like I'm seeing a, a small scratch on the side there. Those promo cards, they can be hard to grade sometimes. You'd be surprised. This guy's thin on the right side. It shows up pretty bad on the back. Might have a very small chance at a 10, but I, I'd call that a 9 myself. That looks like a 10 right off the bat. This is a shaped card, and I'd be worried about this corner down here. Where did you get this shape card from? Oh, well, you know what? It's got this little white edging right here, too. You know what? It's also got whatever the heck this is on Valplume's arm. I would grade it. I would. 
Uh, but don't expect a good grade, but I would still grade it because it's such a cool card. Couldn't help myself. Here's Reshiram Charizard. Bit thinner on the bottom if you're looking for a pristine, but I think it has a chance for PSA 10. This also looks like it could be PSA 10. Real Boom is thin on the left. Bit fatter on the bottom. This has a chance at PSA 10. Persian is very fat on the bottom here. Very fat on the bottom. Thinner on the top. I don't know if you even want to grade this one. You know, I, I think the Entei is not special enough to grade, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'll place them here for now. This is a bit thin on the top, actually, even though it's Japanese. This looks nice. Okay, and your Squirtle. Squirtle looks nice. Cool. And this looks nice. Okay, so you have a pile of nines. Let's go ahead and take a look at your nines real fast. I don't know. This could actually lose your money. Persian's not popular. Real boom, there's going to be too many of them. I would grade the Vob Plume. You could take a shot on the Reshiram. It might still come out 10. Yeah, I'd try the Professor Kukui, even though he's a guy. I don't know about Brawly. I don't know about Gallade. So it's a pretty tough pile of nines. Not too much in there. How about these tens? So I would grade basically all of these, but some are more valuable than others. Lapras VMAX is great. This Charizard, the Pikachu's Ekrom's great. Uh, you could grade this whenever you want. It's a vintage card. Keep it in good condition. The Dene, Cubone, Calyrex. I'd grade that one. He might still come back a nine. Blastoise is a huge hit. Even the Mew is actually pretty strong, believe it or not. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going for like 150 to 200 uh, because it's from an older set and there's probably not a lot of them graded. So yeah, you got some really strong hits in here, but the Calyrex is probably your biggest hit. All right, there you go. Thank you so much, Michael Cusick. Michael Cusick is a guy who's opened up quite a lot of cards over here. All right, let's refresh. Mr. Michael, have you seen Gary Logan and Wooter Boy is going to start doing robo grading? Man, everyone wants to do grading. Everyone wants to do grading. That's how you get the slicer roll. Okay, so I've refreshed. We're at 142 minutes. We have an order for Mr. Amos. Let me get three Dragon Ball Z Supreme. You got it. Mr. Amos Castro. Amos, do you got a bag? I think Amos has a bag, right? Dragon Ball Z Supreme Rivals. We've opened up a lot of this. Sneak. You better hurry up and get TCC Slab started. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's so many grading companies. Ah, man, I, I feel like I should... Here's Son Goten, Son Go Goku, the legend personified. Ooh. Amos says, I sure do have a bag. So that was, a, that was a super rare. Here's Trunks to change the future. When it comes to a card grading company, uh, you know, I really do have to have a partner run it with me because I, I can tell you already, I spend all my time doing the live stream. So I don't have time to run both the card grading company and this live stream. Maybe my wife, if she wants to get into card grading, Amos Castro. I've got the money. I can bankroll it. Mr. Amos, let's find your bag. I bet you're up here. Anthony, Anthony, Alexander, Ardenan. Right now, what I'm still doing is I'm sourcing slabs. I have somebody who has basically the PSA slabs, and I could just reuse the PSA slabs, but I'm talking to them about redesigning it to look unique for me, and they're like, we don't want to redesign it. And I'm like, well, then I don't want to buy any. So I'm trying to convince them to do it, and uh, actually, that's why I'm waiting for a response back on. I think the thing is, the manufacturer of the slabs, they're nervous to design a unique slab because maybe they're worried I won't buy that many. All right, we got Ricardo Lopez. He says, please grade my Himachan and Cedra with CGC grading, says Ricardo Lopez. Sounds good. Mr. Ricardo. Yeah, I think they're nervous to do that. Here we are. Now, let me just check up on the price. 
I don't even know what I charge. Oh, I see. Okay. Sounds good. So you wanted the tier one grade. So I need to have a unique slab because I don't want my slab to be just like PSA slab. Is injection molding too expensive to design for manufacturing? Well, jump in, mister, and deal with good problems later. I know. You could do a shorter stream at night and a grading stream during the day. We would watch a grade. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's get this Hitmonchan. And Cedra. Would you take 50 bucks for that nine-tail slab? Uh, I would certainly probably take... At, at 50 bucks, I'd rather put them into the live customs, to tell you the truth. So if I'm going to do like a reduced price on them, I'd rather have it be in the live customs because that makes the live customs more enjoyable. And I'm always looking for a way to make them more enjoyable. Ricardo Lopez. All right, there we go. You got energy slabs for sale? I do, actually. I have an energy slab, uh, but I think I just took it off the table. All right, Ricardo, your cards are ready to go. Okay, and now I'm going to refresh. Another, th another busy night. I thought tonight was going to be a non-busy night. I love energy cards. I try to collect all the random awesome ones. Oh, for sure, man. Yeah, let me... Sh uh, I'll go show you one right now. Give me a second. Oh. There it is. So this is a PSA 10 Darkness Energy from PSA. Oh, from Hidden Fates, that's what I meant to say. Ooh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and refresh one more time. And I can't tell if we have a new order. Stephen Demos, we do have a new order. Stephen says he wants a 1920 NBA hoops. You got it, Stephen. Stephen. Sneep. What do we got? Danilo, Derek Jones, Damian Lillard, and what's this? This is a strange-looking card. We got Damian Lillard Tribute with my wonderful fingerprint on it. By the way, does it have a number on it? No, no, no number. Although we were, we were paying more attention to numbered cards, and I think we had found one. So this one is, oh, Blake Griffin. Very cool. I couldn't tell, actually. Oh, it says it here, I see. It's hard to read words there. All right, there you go, Mr. Steven Demas. Card economist, I didn't know you had a Twitch. That's right. Twitch is ran by Mike's side, so I don't, I don't really mess with the Twitch at all. It's all up to Mike's side. Here we are. Woo! -hoo! Mr. Cold ones, what's up? He says, I sent him money for an order. My first one. Holy. Time to pull you a Charizard. Let's see. Two evolution packs for cold ones. You got it. All right. So we've got to pull you a Charizard. I use my special magical powers. Woo! All right, definitely Charizard now. Snip and snip. 
Are you ready? Here goes. Oh my gosh. Nope, that's Vulpix. <laughs> so Vulpix on the first pack. And on the second pack, <laughs> Nidoran, that's not Charizard. I bet you Charizard's in the next one. Let's see, we got Mewtwo. He's a nice card. Cold ones. Caterpie. Woo, thanks for hanging out with us, man. How's it going? We'll create a new bag. <gasps> Just sorted out all my cards. I'm in hell. Yeah, I need to do that. I've got a bazillion cards laying around. All right, Mr. Cold Ones. I actually thought about sorting out my PSA cards because what eventually happens, I, I show some PSA cards off and then I don't put them back in the correct order because I'm too lazy. And then I can never find what I'm looking for anymore. Mr. Cold Ones. Woo! All right, I'm going to go ahead and refresh and see if there's any more orders. Who the heck is Cold Ones? Hold on, let's look up Cold Ones real fast. Cold Ones, I don't know how large your channel is, but I'm betting it's large. Let's see. Cold Ones with 1.6 million subs. Oh, mister. <laughs> I'm looking at your channel. Woo! Here we are. He says three more. We'll get you three more. Cold one's been here before. That's right. He stopped in and said hi last time. Now, cold ones, are you, you're another YouTuber. Is that right? So I'm, what I'm trying to say is you've got another channel, right? you got a Pokemon card channel. And uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. You're not Max Mofo, are you? I'm actually really terrible at the other PokeTubers. I, I, Pokemon reviews, what are you talking about? I don't actually watch a lot of other PokeTubers. Let's see. You're Chad. I got you. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab those Evos. Give me a second. I'm going to refresh. There we are. Mr. Chad. <laughs> the African country. There is an African country called Chad, guys, if you did not know that. So Mr. Chad Roberts, he wants three more evolutions. You got it. One, two, and three. Upside down Raichu, that's like a guaranteed Charizard. Woohoo! So we'll push these down so I don't trim up the Charizard's head. All right, again, this is definitely automatic Charizard. Sneep! Sneep! All right, you ready? Here goes! Oh my gosh, you got Machamp. That's better than Charizard. And pack number two. You pull, hey, that's actually a pretty decent one, actually. So this is the Reverse Hollow Mewtwo. And uh, he's looking pretty clean. Sweet. And on pack number three, we've got Seal Hitmonchan. Ooh. We'll put him in a sleeve and we'll put Seal in a sleeve. All right, let's check for any good cards in here. Ponita, Dudu, we always give out the Pikachus and the Charmanders. Arcanine's actually handed out. All right. That was a little bit better. We haven't seen a, we haven't seen a Mew, and we haven't seen a Charizard Hollow. We've seen the Reverse Hollow, but we haven't seen a Charizard Hollow in a while. I miss him. I wish he'd show up already. All right. Wow, look at this bag, man. He says, last three. Woo! Automatic Charizard pull on the last three for sure. <laughs>
All right, I'm refreshing. Actually, I'm sure you paid, so let's just grab them. Two and three. So I liked the centering that we saw on the Mewtwo, and I hope that centering continues. One, two, and three. Give him a pity pull. All right, we'll get him a pity pull. He's had tough luck. <laughs> we'll get you a UFC card. Oops. All right, here we go. You got the Charmander. Oh, no, that's Tangela, not Charizard. Tangela. God, Tangela is a weird Pokemon. Tangela would be made in Japan. Pack number two. Another Char a Charmander. Is it a sign? It's not, because you pulled Staryu. Oh, star you. And finally, your last pack of the night. Oh, I see purple. It could be, well, I don't think it's going to be the lily pad Mew. You know why? Because it's got the little evolution box. It's Haunter. Woo! All right. Well, Haunter's all right. He's a nice Pokemon. Imagine if Bessa had had Gengar in it. I wonder where they ended up putting it in Fossil. Here's Pipichu. Rattata. No secret rares either. Crazy. Well, those are definitely some cold ones, mister. We're going to have to get you the pity pulls. Slide this in here. You're going to need... Oh, a UFC pity pull. We know you're really into UFC, and your favorite fighter is Yana Kunitskaya. <laughs> wow, we appreciate you hanging out, man. So what do you guys do over on your channel? You should introduce yourself a little bit. Five more. Open him some Lion King. Can you feel the love? We drink and tell edgy jokes. Oh, well, there you go. That's basically all you need to form a whole YouTube channel. We both have Pokemon channels. Mine is new. So, were you not kidding? The Pokemon for views? I think you were saying Pokemon for views, right? Let's see. Boop. We don't drink here. New and raw. I recently dropped 5K on special delivery Charizard. Woo! Special delivery Charizard. He probably means... Well, give me a second. Here, let me mute this. This one? I received a special delivery Charizard. Hey, that's you! All right. He says, that one. <laughs> oh, man. I'll go ahead and plug my camera back in. There we go. Well, yeah, that's very cool coming out and hanging out and uh, ordering some cards. I appreciate that. It will probably come out because it will probably come out. What will probably come out was kind of let down. We didn't get the Zard. I know. Maybe the next card is the Zard. You never know. So I'm going to refresh because I think we also had another guy. The Charizard. Yeah, I agree. You open enough packs of evolutions, you do eventually get a Charizard. So, we do have an order for Mr. Manuel Garcia for Lost Thunder. Let's open up those Lost Thunders so he doesn't have to wait too long. Mr. Garcia. Oh, mister. You gotta come back around sometime when we're playing around a Who's That Pokemon. That's a little competition we host where... Uh, it's an actual competition, and the person who's able to name the Pokemon faster than the other players ends up winning a prize, and the prize can be a bunch of evolution packs. So, Mr. Manuel, let's see what you get. Pack number one is Raikou. Oh, mister. Here's Scissor as well, and a Copeland, and a Nihiligo. I'm sorry, mister. Mr. Manuel, let's find your bag. You're right in the front. You're actually pretty easy to find. He ordered five more. Oh, my gosh. Let's go get them. Let me do a quick refresh. I don't know about that. You got my Fortnite card. Let's see. So you're down. Three more evolutions. I think he ordered three more. Yes, he ordered three more. Is that right? All right. 
One, two, three. Let me get the ones with the guaranteed Charizard in them. Are you ready? <laughs> Mr. wants all the Zards to himself. That's not true. I'm Zard generous. I want everyone to have a Charizard. Sent 125 for five more. Oh, okay. So maybe that just hasn't arrived. Tell you what, let me go grab those then. Oops. One and two. There we go. Sneep. And sneep. All right. Mr. is the best. Oh, thank you. Let's see what you get. Well, I see something nice in there. It could be the Mega Charizard. I bet it'll be the Blastoise. Watch it. Let's see what it is. It is the Mega Charizard. And you know what's funny? There's still time to get the Hollow Charizard. Ah, it's Charmeleon behind it. Well, of course it is, because this would be in the Hollow slot, wouldn't it? Ah, Mega Charizard, mister. It's a good thing you opened five more. Somebody was going to snipe that Charizard from you. Woo! All right. Now, there's still time for a hollow Charizard to come out too, right? There's the lily pad Mew. I was just saying, we haven't seen him in a while. He does have a little bit of a visible print line. All right, that's too bad, but he's still very nice looking. Here's two of the Charizard spirit links, but unfortunately, they don't have the nice centering that the Mewtwo had. Otherwise, those would be pretty cool, right? So let's see. We've got Starmie. Starmie's like the best break card. What even is this thing on Starmie? You know, it's got like a gem on it. Here's another Vulpix and Hollow Raichu. Ooh. All right, we got Hollow Raichu and Reverse Hollow Vulpix is a bit thin on the bottom. I think the first one you had was too. Last pack. Come on, Hollow Charizard. He's got the Mega Charizard. Mm, I don't think that's red. I think that's like a Chansey. Eradicate and a Machamp. Eradicate Machamp. All right. <laughs> no, actually, I'm very happy. We, you got both the Lily Pad Mew and the Mega Charizard in five packs, which, by the way, that's a very good pull rate in these packs. Let's see. Weedle. I'm not surprised, too, because we've been opening some cold ones for a while. Here's Mewtwo. Here's Charmander. Looking for any of the non hollers Can you believe that people actually grade the uh, non-hollow Pikachu, and it sells? Have you seen that before? I tell people on this channel about it because I noticed it. It's so ridiculous. It's crazy, man. Really cold. Ten more for the highlight. <laughs> All right. Wow, the last time... Mr. Cold Ones, or Mr. Chad, the last time that I had uh, my wife's feet on the thumbnail, Nogula showed up, and tonight you show up. I'm gonna have to have my wife do some foot modeling all the time, I think. I took your advice and bought a lot of the reverse Pikachus. Oh, nice, man. You're talking about the reverse Evo Pikachus. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully some that have a shot at the 10 too, because in my opinion, especially if you can get like a pristine grade on it, just even one of them, uh, those reverse hollow Pikachus, I they're probably always going to be pretty valuable. They're, they just look nice. They just look nice. That's all it comes down to is that original artwork. Cold ones. TCC feet, PSA 10. Mister, why did you go? Why do you go live so late? Uh, really, it's a scheduling thing. So um, at 12 a.m., my wife's typically in bed sleeping. So now I finally have the house to myself. Uh, and when she's off work, she just wants to hang out with me. So if I try to go live at dinner time, she'd be all lonely. She'd be like sitting alone. She's off work. She'd been working all day. She'd be off work. And so, you know, she'd be all by herself, not doing anything. Be like, oh, Derek's, uh, he's streaming. So we've, I've tried it before. Go, starting a live stream after she's gone to bed has been a lot more successful because then I, I get to spend plenty of time with her. Well, basically the whole day. And then when she's off to bed, I spend my time with you guys. How nice. But it's true. It's a bit later than what's ideal. And uh, I guess the tough part is there's probably people who don't manage to make the live stream because it's so late at night. TCC Cooking Channel. You guys want to watch me make some ramen? I'll go make some ramen right now. We'll, TCC Cooking Channel right now. Mister, do a 24-hour live stream. Corn Rule says, okay. 
Well, I'm not very hungry though. You know, right before we went live, I uh, I made a few pieces of bacon and a bunch of scrambled eggs. So I'm actually really full. Uh, but normally I would eat after the live stream. So normally after the live stream ends, I go off and I have a meal. Philippe says, let's see the noodles. Make a bowl of cereal. Oh yeah, that's pretty complicated. So let me just check and see if there were any more orders. Let's see. I'm just going to check. You want cereal? TCC Cooking Channel. I can feel Charizard is coming soon. You got to sing that, Alex. You got to be like, Can you feel the Charizard tonight? Mike Spanos orders a pack of evolutions. Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike wants that big snipe. You just made mac and cheese. Ugh. More like mac and gross. Here's, well, here we go. Here's one of those reverse hollow Pikachus. We were just talking about it. So I believe that this is a pretty good pull from the Evolutions packs. I, You know, actually, this one looks really clean, too. He looks like he definitely, he's a little thinner here, a little thicker here, and then slightly thinner on the bottom. But, I mean, if you send this to PSA, it might still have a shot. Well, <laughs> that might be a thin print line running close to the top. I guess if he's a 9, that's still a, a decent grade. He won't be worth as much as the 9, though. Let's see. Caterpie. Here's another Pikachu. Yeah, people are actually grading the non hollow Pikachu from the set. I gotta show you guys this. For those of you who haven't noticed this, because it's so ridiculous. So, we're gonna say PSA 10 Evolutions Pikachu. And we're gonna go with completed listings. And ended recently. Let me show this to you guys. How ridiculous this is. So this is ended recently. So the last one to have sold. By the way, I want to point something out. First of all, you know how I always make a big deal out of the... Uh, I always make a big deal out of the secret rares. Let me show you why. I always make a big deal out of those secret rares. Because this sold June 19th for markdown from $200. And it's the Flying Pikachu. And oh... Oh, this is only buy it now. Let me do all let me do all auctions. All right, there we go. So look at this. Look at this, guys. This is June 19th. And this is XY Evolutions Pikachu PSA 10 Gem Mint. And I think it's a non-hollow. Give me a second. It's just it's just a regular non-hollow Pikachu. Somebody make sense of it for me. I, I <laughs> Woo! All right. So, you know, I don't like the negative talk. When people say, like, junk slabs, I don't generally agree with that term, junk slabs. But, I mean, this has to be the pinnacle of the use of that word or the, the peak of using that word. Because this is just a common, uncommon, non -ho It's not even a hollow card. It's just a... It's as bulk as bulk could be. And this is why I, I always put the Pikachu into your... Uh, your pulls. You guys noticed that, right? Holy. It's just a non hollow Pikachu. Now, and what's crazy is this this was an auction. That's auction 14 bids. Crazy. What the? So anyways, that's why we have that Pikachu in there. Makes no sense. Woo! Two options, either a rookie or shill bidding. Well, I've heard about shill, I've heard about shill bidding. But keep in mind, uh, you know, eBay changed its rules recently so that if you bid on something and you don't buy it, you get in trouble more. Okay. So, uh, but hold on. Maybe this is another one. So if you think that one's shill bidding, look at this one. This is the same deal. $125, right? And here we are. And it's just a regular non-hollow Pikachu. Oh my lord, dude. That's another one, right? So uh what is going on? Uh, here's the reverse hollow going for 200, 158. I might have overpaid for mine. I think I paid 300. That's okay. It goes in, look, this one went for 355. Goes into somebody's pocket. This is the cracked ice Pikachu, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, crazy. Mister, just checking back in. Did we do the large yet? Says Jeremy Helmstadter. 
Um, if you're talking about the Lugia Large, we have not done the Lugia Large yet. So I don't, I don't know if Cold One's headed out. I just want to thank him for hanging out uh, again with us tonight. And uh, that's Mr. Chad from Cold One. So thanks for hanging out with us, Chad. And then I'm going to pop back here. We were opening this for whom? Who are we opening this for? Give me a second. Here we are. Still here. I did another order. You did another order. All right, hold on. Let me refresh. I don't know if I can allow that. That might be unallowed. So, so we opened Mike Spanos' pack. I got to make sure I don't miss anyone, okay? And then we have a we have a pack to open for Efrain Evelar, two XY Evo, and five Japanese EV Hero. So, Mr. Chad, we'll get you in a second. I got to make sure we open these in the correct order because we don't want anyone to miss their polls. By the way, Mike Spanos, did you have a bag, Mike? I don't remember if Mike Spanos has a bag. Mike, I feel like we, we shipped you the other day. Matalski. Matthew. I tell you what, so that we can get things moving real... He says you should. Oh, man, we better find this. <laughs> Let's go looking still. Oh, it's right here, Mr. Mike. Mike, I gave up too fast, didn't I? All right, so Mike Spanos, congratulations on your Pikachu pull. That's a nice Pikachu. Now, Efrain also wanted to pop in and snipe some of the Evos, but really, you might be sweeping the Evos. You never know. Also, the five Eevee heroes, and it looks like Mr. Chad would want Japanese team up 10 packs. Okay, so you're not even going after Evos after this. Cool. So let me grab these real fast. So, Mr. Chad Roberts, from your expert opinion, what do you think I could do to make the channel a little more fun? You ever watch and get bored? What is it that's going on when you get bored, if you ever watch? Just picking your brain. Me, 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 me. All right, Efrain, you ready? Sneep. I just start making a mess of chat. All right, here goes, Efrain. Not enough feet. Ah, that's actually a good answer. Here's Swampert. Smoke another bowl. Hmm, I'm pretty new to doing Pokemon content. I don't really get bored. I love chilling here. Oh, very cool. All right, well, I'm glad to hear that. Here's Jolteon. I'm always trying to think of what to do to improve. I feel like getting a better setup would be better. Yeah, I need to move to my... Uh, we have an unused base man. It's pretty large. All right, so from the Eevee Heroes, you got Jolteon. I'm so slow to change things, though. You want to see Lion King? You're going to make me sing the Lion King song, man. So Darkness Energy from your Evolution Pack. It's pretty well-centered, Darkness. You also got this Arcanine. And an all-white light behind you. You think that would help? Here's Venusaur Spirit Link. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a little bit of a sweep. One, two, three, four. Stick around, guys. I'm going to make the ramen noodles next. I don't know. Should I do that? Maybe I'll make a special live stream just for ramen. All right. I'll put this in a sleeve. There we go. And Efrain. Efrain, did you already have a bag? Let's see if Efrain already had a bag. I think Efrain's new, right? Emmanuel, Eric, Eero. A high-quality camera would be cool. A DSLR setup would be sweet. I don't even know what that means. You're using big fancy language with me. Ernesto, Ever, Treminio, Emmanuel. <clears throat> oh, I got a question for you, Mr. Chad. What's your favorite Pokemon? See, that's the question everybody asks me all the time, and it makes me want to pull my hair out sometimes because I hear it too often. But, but actually, yeah, what is your favorite Pokemon? Since we got you here. Efrain. Avalar. There we go. Woohoo! You better not say Charizard. Next up, we got Mr. Chad. He wants 10 Japanese team ups. Drowsy. Really? 
Did you know Hypno is one of my favorites? I'm a huge fan of Hypno. It's just that Hypno is not very popular with others, so it makes me sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I always liked the uh, Team Rocket Pokemon, and Team Rocket would use Drowsy and Hypno. Drowsy chilling. Chilling like a villain, maybe. So let's see if you can pull the hot one rather than the cold ones out of these team ups. Sneep. Sneep. All right. And one more sneep. Sneep. Wow, that's all sneaked up. Drowsy has short arms. Wow, that is so ableist of you. You ready? Cold. Here's, oh, and this is exactly why we like Team Up. So we pull you a Charizard right off the bat, the Charizard Hollow. Now we just got to get you that Seagra Rare. Here's a useless trainer. <laughs> Cold. Here's Electrode. Cold. Uh-oh. Ruh -roh. We got the Gyarados. All right, you got two packs left. There better be a hot one in the two packs. You ready? Cold. Uh, uh, well, you got Whale Lord Magikarp. Woo! I guess that's a little bit better than if it was a, a cold pack, but no secret rare in there. Where's the secret rare? I thought I was going to hand you a secret rare, man. There was at least a 69% chance of it. All right, well, luckily you got the Charizard Hollow, and that's why I'm liking the Japanese team up so much. Very easy Charizard pull. All right. Oh, that's a great question. So, Mr. Cold Ones, would you say you're more of a Weedle gang kind of guy or Caterpie, Caterpie gang kind of guy? Weedle gang or Caterpie gang? This is an important question. Very defining question. Weedle! Woo! He's on the Weedle gang. All right. Mr. Never asks what gang I'm in. What gang are you in? <laughs> Quartz says, damn, Caterpie for sure. <laughs> I'm a bigger fan of the Weedle. That's because I like, uh, you know, I like Beedrill. Uh, Butterfree's nice, but Butterfree's too nice. You know what I mean? Butterfree doesn't have a backbone. Butterfree would be like, oh, let me empathize with you. Beedrill would be like, let me, I'm going to stab you with my stinger. Next up, we got Jack Walsh. He says, Mr. One Live Custom. Oh, Jack. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Jack, what did you do? Oh, I know what's going on here. I didn't write down uh, CGC or something on it. <laughs> Like, what did you pull? <laughs> Even I can't read it. Here we are. Oh, this is a cool one. I like this. So this is a nice little card. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack Walsh. Now, it is just a 4.5, but it is a fun card. You ready? It's Team Rocket Charmander, first edition. Hey, that's not so bad. You know, it's, it'll never be too expensive, but it probably it probably wouldn't be that hard to resell it either. You know what I mean? You'd be surprised when a card comes down into the range of being like 40 bucks, somebody buy it. All right, congratulations, Mr. Jack Walsh. Ooh. Now we have an order from Mr. Juan Garcia for five EV heroes. Oh, man, my music died a long time ago, and I didn't restart it. Oh, I don't think it died. Hey, you're not kidding. You got that drowsy right there. There's the drowsy. I gotta show him something real fast. You probably already know about this. I wanna show you one of my favorite cards from when I was a kid. Let's see, it's not my number one favorite, but maybe I would call it like top five, you know what I mean? So give me a minute. Ah, here it is. So people are always asking me my favorite card. I'll bring that over too. So I got some expensive cards, but my favorite is still this one. 
So this is my favorite card is the Dark Magneton. But actually, did you know one of my favorite cards was also this guy, Dark Hypno? Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought the artwork for this was so trippy. Woo! Okay, Mr. Wanger. Oh, right, we were getting the music playing again. That's what we were doing. Come on now. Oh, my Lord. All right, music's back on. He says, that's so hard to get. The Dark Magneton? The Dark Magneton, uh, he's a pricier card. It actually made me really happy when I found out that he was a, a really rare card because when I was a kid, this was always one of my favorites. I ended up going to school for computer science and I always liked the computer science-y Pokemon, you know, the ones that are like physics and stuff. And Dark Magneton and Porygon, those were two I really liked. Uh, but I also liked Dark Hypno and Drowsy and Gengar and Alakazam. So all the psychic ones, I guess. And back then, they didn't have Dark Pokemon yet. Oh, wait, we're not opening all these. So, Mr. Wan. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Don't feed Pro Cod. He won't go away. That card should be banned, making me do things, says Jess Ochoa. Is that Jess Ochoa related to Brian Ochoa? Brian Ochoa. Here goes Mr. Juan Garcia. Marshado. The best I can do is 69 for that Dark Magneton. <laughs> Here's Dark Raichu. Yeah, it's pretty cool when a card that you really, really, really liked growing up is also super rare because then you can like go collect it it's kind of like a it's an interesting thing because magneton generally is not a very popular pokemon all right eldegoss well mr garcia this time it's going to be a cold round i'm sorry mr garcia mr garcia and your bag is going to be it's not in the overflow is it justin Asito, uh, here we are, Mr. Garcia. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a little bit of a cold round. Critical race theory is telling me you got those pokies through privilege. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to give you some of them then. <laughs> it's called pokey socialism. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. Yeah, I always liked the dark hypno. There was something about hypno and Gengar and Haunter and the fact that they would use, like, hypnosis, I really liked that concept of hypnosis. And later on in life, you know, I came up with that swirl for the Game Economist channel, and it all kind of ties in if you didn't know it. You know, it's that, that concept of, like, brain alteration, uh, the idea of losing control of your, your conscious mind, stuff like that. It's all really interesting to me. Not having control over your own mind. Very interesting. And that's why if you guys ever see like the Game Economist channel or like if you're in the Discord, do you ever notice the red swirl around my name The the uh, for my PFP? That's that icon. Okay, now we have an order from... Where are we? Uh, oh, here we are. God, that confused me. So we have an order from Mr. Chad who says 10 more team up. That's not a bad choice. Let's see what happens. Ten more. No reason to simply mind sweep, right? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm looking for one more. Here we are. Ten. How in the world did you get your wife to agree on doing that thumbnail? She's my foot model. I told her, I said, you want to be famous, don't you? I said, you want those uh, diamond uh, necklace, right? I said, you're going to have to show off your feet. Things in life aren't free. All right, here we are. She was like, okay, I'll do it as long as you won't show my face. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> ah, Latios and Latios. Sweet. Here's 
A cold one. Another cold one. Things in life aren't free unless you sell feet picks. Yeah, pretty much. Cold. We're looking for the hot ones. Cold. Here's Venusaur Celebi. All right. I'm down with that. That looks nice. How about a full art? No. Here's Articuno. And the last pack. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no full art still. That's a bummer. That sucks. I thought there would be a full art. Hmm. All right. So let's get these into your bag. Well, they're still nice. Wow, you got a sizable bag already. Holy, holy moly. I record my wife and her boyfriend and made an OnlyFans. They don't know, and I'm getting rich. Ha ha. That's right. Making money the smart way. Cookies are not for what? What did he say? All right, so we have another order. We have an order for Mr. Efrain, who wants five chilling rains and two fates collide. Oh, fates collide, huh? So, send me to the shadow ring. One, two, three, four, five. And two XY fates. Where are the fates? Here we are. Fates collide. One and two. Sweet. That's for Efrain. Good luck. Sneep. I love the Fates Collide. Sneep. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Sneep. Sneep. All right, we've done quite a few sneeps here. You ready? Expedition. Hatram. Pack number three. Oh, what's this? A golden pack. Oh, look at that. You should have great energy cards. Look at this energy card. Grade that one. Holy. I like the way that one looks a lot. Here's Crabominable and Lady in. Lady in red. How about these Fates Collide? You could be pulling Lugia. In fact, you are pulling Lugia. Oh, Master, this is your lucky night. What is this? That's a pretty nice looking Lugia. Good luck with that. If you didn't know, the Lugia in this set is pretty valuable. The Lugia break is the most valuable break card. All right, and pack number two. Just the Chaos Tower. We'll sleeve that up with your other hollows. Just the Chaos Tower. Oh, look at that, man. Wow, that looks crazy. I like that it, it looks really cool, and yet it doesn't really detract from the Sun and Moon energy cards because they're just designed uh, with a different texture, you know? Wild. All right, Mr. Efrain. I hope Eevee heroes are also hot. I hope Eevee heroes are hot. All right, Efrain. Uh, you know what? This e-box is so full. Is there any room up top for an e-bag? The all-seeing eye? <laughs> oh, Mr. Emmanuel Panetta has a really large bag. So he's going to go up top right away. The moment we have room in that D box, we immediately fill it. That's a problem. All right, and then Efrain can go here. All right. Next up, we got Tito, five Supreme Rivals. 
Oh, Mister! One, two, three, four, five. How supreme of you! Oops. Sneep. 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 All right. We've got Son Goku, Hope of the Science. Ew. Son Goku. Here's, what's this? Ah, oh, it's just a super rare. Frieza, Invader from another dimension. God damn it, Frieza. Here's Terrified Realization. Uh-oh. I think he's terrified. Pack number four. SSB Vegeta at full power. And Assault of the Androids. You gotta stop the androids. Very cool. It's Vegeta. Mr. Tito. Tito, do you have a bag? Let's go looking for Tito's bag. Team Rocket, Targon, Tenzenberg. We haven't seen Tenzenberg in a while. Tayton, Trenton, Tyler Childer, Thomas, Tim Love, Tyler Adolfson, Tyler something. Yes, I have one card in the bag. Uh-oh. It's not a hollow card, is it? If it's a hollow card and just a hollow card, there is a chance I took it. Tyler went, Tyler something, Teddy something, Travis, and Tony. Can you tell me what the card was? It wasn't a good card, was it? Tammy Lowe, Toro Teal, Tyler Limehouse. Here it is. It's Tito. I found you, Tito. Yay. I think it was a, I was on top because it was a trainer from the Gym Heroes break. Here you go, Mr. Tito. Woo. -hoo. All right. Are you my dad? That's right, son. That's right, son. Everything the sun touches will be yours. Mr. Garcia says two more Evos. All right. Here we are. We're gonna run out of Evos in a minute here. Oops. Mr. Juan Garcia, Snape. Let's see what you get. We've got Electabuzz. Electabuzz and Hollow Polyrath. Ooh, he's going to get all punchy. How much for some fatherly advice? Uh, it depends on the subject. What do you want to talk about? I charge 69 cents per hour. Testosterone does that. <laughs> what? Pepe, what? Pikachu! Oh, yep, you're right. These are the wrong cards. Okay, so... These are my cards now. Magikarp. Look at that Magikarp. Oh, look at these lovely Pokemons I got for myself. Here, the Pikachu can go in there. Look at these lovely Pokemons. Two more Eevee. He said Eevee, and I thought Evolutions. God damn it. Wow, the Electabuzz looks pretty good. Magikarp's a bit off center. Mister, this chick is peeking up my bathroom. I'm about to call her Uber, Uber even though she lives here. How's the wait list? Pretty short. So Juan Garcia wants two Eevee heroes. There you go. Eevee heroes, not evolutions. My bad. Sleep. <laughs> One win, bet free. Here we go. We got a cold pack and an ante. Woo! No problem, it's my own fault. You don't gotta apologize. I'm supposed to be smart enough to see that. I'm not that, that smart. I think I can just know all the cards? Come on, man. Andras, he says five Japanese heroes. You got it, Mr. Andras. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a girl, buy me some Pokemon cards. 
Selling anything makes you realize how easy it is to make errors, says Jeromo. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, um, I feel like this job makes me relate more to fast food workers somehow, because this feels like a fast food job in a way. Here. Ah! Oh! Espeon, Mr. Garcia, you missed it by two more packs. <laughs> it was so close. Cold and also an Umbreon, a very hot round. How much to cry with me? <laughs> uh, I never cry, ever. It's called being a man. Never cry, guys. Be a man. <laughs> Jordan Peterson, every video he makes, he's like, <laughs> every video I've ever seen him in, he's crying. Adam Smith, Alexandro, Anthony, Austin, AC Marshall. So AC Marshall does have a bag. Now I know. Adrian Aragorn. He doesn't cry because he is, he doesn't cry because he's dead inside. That's right. What? Here we go, Mr. Andraz. Whoa, you got a large bag, Andraz. Mr. Andraz, you got to get some shipping, man. Trying to step on JP's toes. He going to cry. He's, eh. oh, you going to cry? You going to cry? <laughs> you going to cry like a little girl? Wait, I can't say that either, right? Get, me, get myself in trouble. Girls and boys are the same. There is no difference. All right, I'm going to refresh. Sent me that Espiana. I'm a girl. Give me some cards, guys. I'm a girl. Not a pretty one, but... All right, we're refreshing. It's taking forever. Girls and boys are the same if girls listen good. I cry while I pee, says Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. Time to man up, Alex. Mister, what is the G spot? Like a club for gangsters or something? Uh, the G spot. Good question. Go ahead and refresh. Buy me stuff, so I have assets. Boys don't cry. That's right. It looks like we're all caught up. Anthony Sevens how, says, how much until the box break of Ancient Origins? Let's take a look. Here's the Ancient Origin box break. And you can see we still got a ways to go to 36, but it's about halfway sold out, okay? About halfway sold out. Ooh, very nice. We are at 197 minutes. How much for that dark hypno? Uh, oh, good question. I don't know what he goes for now. Says I bought him back in the day for $220, huh? Says by April of 2021, he was $995. That seems kind of high. Hmm. Here's Dark Magneton. Says I bought him for $4,600. And it says in 321, not available, that I would sell mine for about 6,700. Wonder how much it goes for now. Maybe it's about the same. Maybe it's gone down. Pokey cards have gone down in price a little bit, right? He's probably hard to sell, you know what I mean? Show us Simba. Simba. Dark Magna time first. Let's see. PSA 10, Dark Magneton. Well, let's remove the first. Maybe that is messing up our chance. Okay, we're going to go by highest price and scroll down. So there is a Dark Magneton for sale. For 8.5 thousand right now. So why don't we update that? There is one for sale for 8.5 thousand. That costs as much as a car. So we're going to say 8.5K. And that's on uh, 721. So he hasn't changed much in price. Um, and he's worth a little less than half. Or he's worth a little less than twice what I paid for him. So that's pretty cool. Now, that's if he sells. He might not sell for that much. He might sell for closer to 6.7 thousand. Uh, but that's still pretty good. And I get to enjoy holding on to him, so I like that. I intend to hold on to him for a very long time. That's the other thing. Yeah, I intend to hold on to him and just keep holding. Dark Magneton. Take a look. 
I like how he's got little angry eyes, too. All right, I'm going to go refresh one more time, and that's going to be the end of the stream after I do this refresh. We have an order. We have a few orders. Uh, we have one from Mauro Gulen. He says, two shiny fates. Do we have any more shiny fates? Ah, we're going to need a new box. All right, give me a, give me a moment. Yes, sir. New bag, please, says Sweezy. Sweezy? Sounds good. I'm Maro. All right. Wow, it's so weird. It feels like the live stream was really slow at the start, and it, like, picked up near the middle. I thought today was going to be a slow day. I really did. Ended up being a cool day. We got Mr. Chad hanging out. That was neat. Definitely a second win tonight. Remember, at like 100 minutes, I was like, all right, guys, I'm about to wrap up. <laughs> Sneep. All right, we sneaked up. We've got Rush Rom. Look at this Reshi Rom. Place him here. And Frost Moth. All right, we got a Frost Moth. That's for Mr. Morrow, and he says he needs a new bag. Love the amazing rares. Yeah, amazing rares are still pretty nice. Morrow Gulen. And we'll put you over here. I was sad when I opened up my box of Chilling Rain and I only got the one Whitney out of the box. We got all those VMAXs. I wish I'd gotten a hyper rare Pokemon. You know what it is? I just don't like trainers as much. Other people like the trainers, though. Maybe I'll just sell her as a raw card. Tito says five more Supreme Rivals. Ooh. All right. One, two, three, four, five. So this is for our friend Tito. Mr. Tito, time to pull you the special rare. Sneep. 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 You ready? We've got Cooler Effortless Strike. All right, that's a super rare. And Darkness Judgment. Ooh. I was watching some Naruto with my wife today. What's this? Oh, there we go. Special rare. And it's way more textured, by the way. And it says Supreme Kai of Time. Time Labyrinth Unleashed. What? What the heck? Here's Demon God Toa. More like demon god cleavage. Holy. What would Jesus say? What would Jesus do? Here's anticipated onslaught. She's going to be shamed at the church, uh, at the local mass. They're going to be like, for shame. That's way too much cleavage. That's for Tito. Mr. Tito, here's your bag. We got you all the beautiful pokies. What is that spam, he says. Mr. Tito. Uh, and now we have another order from Efrain, who says two XY Evos and one Champion's Path. Well, I have, a, I have good news for you, Efrain. I did a little bit of mind sweeping for you. So you might have a better chance here at a Charizard. I hope you pull one. You also get one Champion's, huh? So taking a chance on the Champion's. Do we have champions? Oh my God. 
Wait, we do. <laughs> One champions. Woo! All right. Well, we're going to have to open a new box of champions. Champions Path. You know, I reduced the price on Champions Path to sell them faster. They don't, uh, you know, each each pack of cards that you guys open, I get a little cut from each each opening. And I decided to take a much smaller cut on Champions Path just to get rid of it. But not in the sense like, oh, nobody wants Champions Path. I'm trying to clear it out. But more like in the sense of, I like the uh, ETB boxes from it. And I like that it comes with the little Charizard. I think I want to grade some of those Charizards while they're still sleeved, actually. You know, almost like a booster pack. So I think that would be cool to do. But uh, it, it moves pretty slow. The Champion's Path does. I think that's because it's so scary to open. What do we got? Scrafty. And then from your Evos. Coughing. Oh, no. I'm sorry. What else? We haven't seen a secret rare in a long time. Here's a Pikachu. All right. That's for our friend Efrain. Here we go, Mr. Efrain. Wow, you got real lucky in your previous run, your previous pulls. Do I sell PSA graded Pokemon cards? Uh, we only sell propane and propane accessories, mister. Now I'll go ahead and refresh. What a busy night. We got real busy later on. We got busy three hours in. What's your rarest card? My rarest card? Well, it's not just about rarity. It's also about um, desirability. So you can have a card with pop one and call it rare. Um... But, you know, if you're talking just in terms of rarity, the Dark Magneton is pretty high on that list. Again, there's only a PSA pop of, like, 48 of these. Might be 50 by now. Who knows? He's got a pretty small pop count. Tell me about the Lion King pack, says Vani. So these are $4 each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight remaining. And what you're trying to pull is a card that looks uh, kind of like this. You're trying to pull one of these out. Rand Mitziel pulled one, but he sliced it. It's a holographic card that moves when you tilt it. How cool. But they're pretty rare. Uh, but we're wrapping up for the night, so I, I don't know if we should sell any more Lion King packs. Um, I guess I'll go make my ramen noodles without you guys now, okay? <laughs> I had a great night, everyone. I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. I know some of you guys are not subscribed. If you hit that button, it goes a long way. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. It's a lot harder than you think. So I need your help. I can't do it by myself. So I hope you guys will consider that. Uh, let's wrap up. We're way past the three-hour mark. Thank you, everyone. And I'll be back on tomorrow. I'm on every single night. I never miss.